Hip-hop. We love hip hop. Well, if you want to mention like something that's kind of cool, Nicki Minaj already sold a hundred thousand copies of her album Black No. Academics. You need a girly podcast. Yeah. I'm just saying, you don't have to. No, we don't have to talk about this. Ah, uh, no, we don't you, have you to. You can spin that into pure Freddie sales. Freddie said, deal. like, you know what that's Pure sales. Talk about pure sales. We've got a list of topics. Don't worry. We're good. Yeah, we're, we're good. good. We're good. You. Thank <laughs> you, Jam. Thank you, Jam. Thank you. Holy, yeah, am, yeah, I, yeah. am I in the screen? Am I in the screen? Uh, yeah, yeah, good, you're good. You're good. 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 Good, 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 good. Um, what were we just saying there? Um, yeah, it wasn't wasn't too much controversy this week. It's been a, it's been a, I won't say a slow week, but it's been a nice, non controversial, nice, easy light week. topics. Yeah, <laughs> nothing too heavy. Oh, there's topics, but I'm saying I ain't getting no <laughs> shit. Nothing heavy, nothing heavy here. <laughs> I've stayed out of trouble. You know what I'm saying good, for the most good. part. But I do have a little bit of smoke that I will bring at some point in the oh. show today. Sure. Not, 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 a, not a whole chimney, just a small mini smokestack. A little puff, 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 and puff. A little, little puff action, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, there's, there's, you know, I've stayed out of trouble. There's, listen, nobody ever stays out of trouble, but I've, I've stayed out of trouble, so we're good for that. I ain't got to know how to but stay out of trouble, man. That smoke still has to, has to fall. <laughs> has to arise. Ooh, Turn how, me up in the headphones, son. We're feeling. Look at the whole comic gang, man. Okay. What up? We what it do? We what it do? What it do? We are because the world's most smoked out podcast. We love hip hop. I'm the host with the most toast. Friday, Ricky Dread, aka almost forgot my intro. Um, aka bunch of aka's. Episode four fourteen. We over here. Utopia Records Studio. We got Dusty Wallace in the mother. Building. You know already it's Gary Potter it's keeping it positive always, and you know, you know what it is. Stay, stay, staying cooler than the other side of the pillow. Cool. You know what I mean? Today I'm cooler than the AC. Yeah, I like your drip Jeez. here today, fam. Yeah. Oh, that's that yeah, you. Man. You know what I mean? Yeah, Picasso. You, yeah. you know, believe in you. That's Real that Picasso. That's that you brand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to Big Apple. Drippy you Wallace. Know what I mean? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. you know, shout out to everybody keeping it positive this week. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? And what up? about you, B3? What you saying this week, man? Yo, so, I've been working, bro. Working yeah. like 16, 20 hour days and good. everything nonstop. So. Good, good, good. Yeah, good. on that grind, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 We were even talking a little bit about some of those big, big blocks that you're talking about. <laughs> you're getting like freaking 12 hour and eight hours. Yo, honestly, want. I like, I prefer. I prefer the longer hour sessions. The stretch, yeah? Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. More times because I, I get to do more yeah, in a session. Good. We get to work on more, Build. you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Create, create more. Yeah, yeah. You take more. You could tell when something's rushed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. got to keep going back to it. And and plus, even when it comes to that, that means man's, man's are working. They're like working on something. Mm-hmm. They're not like, yo, I'm in here, yo. I made my song in one hour and it's the uh, banger. Yeah, like, yeah no f- around they no. come in and they work yeah. no, but if you're in the studio for 12 hours i hope you come out with like five songs <laughs> maybe just working on two just you got the yeah yeah you maybe just bringing are they bringing in some some um pianos and some <laughs> harps and shit Yo, I've, had, I've had sessions like that before honestly yeah, 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 really? yeah. Oh, that's yeah where they bring their own producers yeah right? mm-hmm. and they had a, like a couple instrumentalists yeah 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 we worked it out yeah in yeah general. Spend two hours just on the harp section. You know what I'm saying? Yo, if if you ask any producer down in the states, yeah. like that's really really doing this, mm. like they're running 48 hour sessions. Oh, of course, that's hours. crazy. There's two just days. like two or three engineers that like yeah. rotate. You know, going well, crazy. I know about those. That's work. Right, I've been in a lot of those sessions. Future's bro. in the studio every day. Apparently, you have to be. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. he's probably a nine to five guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? What do you mean, like uh, going like, to studio like nine o'clock in, in the morning till in the five morning. in the afternoon type? Shit? Yeah, yeah, possibly. Because yeah. if you run it like a business, you know what I mean. Then per se, like a party from when they're in, when you're in the beginning of your mm-hmm. stages of mm-hmm. you ten songs a day minimum. Like, yeah, so you learning. you could do that from a nine to five. Yeah, you come outside. You still have things that you can go do with the rest of your night. Yeah, you got other things to do after that. From five, you got to go out and party. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, do a show. No, I've mm-hmm. heard about um like uh, even Joe Button. He was saying when he was like heavy into his rap and yeah. man didn't want to do like no night sessions. Like no. he's pulling up ten o'clock in the morning, yeah. That's maybe most one fresh. in the afternoon tops. You know, most fresh, saying? yeah, most fresh. Sun's out bright. Yeah. You go into a dark studio, like yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. Hey, I ain't mad at it, man. And get it done. Salute to all y'all, all y'all rappers out there. <laughs> hey, right, salute, man. That's a that's a real job. Yeah. Um, quick thing before we um continue here, I want to give us big salute to the sponsors. Let me put this blunt down before the, I do that. Big salute to the sponsors. Big salute. Diamond Club. They got delivery all over the GTA and across Canada. All right. You can find them on the Seven Days of Weed website as well as the Leafy Things site. They got just listen. All types of selections. Right now, I'm smoking on some um, pink. What is this now? VIP pink. Okay. You know what I'm okay. saying? Very, very important well, pink. You know what, what was saying? it? The black guy gas? <laughs> the black guy gas. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> black so guy like, gas is what yo, I was Who makes about. these names? I don't who know. Like the, I think it's the, the growers. growers. It's the growers. Like, the grower. They, they, what they, are they thinking? And then the person name? distributing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You listen, it's it's a lot of shock value in those names. Yeah, for sure. For real. But but salute to them. Hit them up on their Instagram page, Diamond Club underscore Canada. Um, and let them know that we love hip hop boys sent you. They'll give you a little discount. Mm-hmm. Also, if you need some blem, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be going through a, a, a um an extended ad block right now. Okay. Okay. If you need some blem, hit up steaming hot grab. Okay. Yep. I got a shaker right here, but they got multiple different ways that they carry to grab a cans, mm-hmm. all types of stuff mm-hmm. and different, different flavors like peanut butter, all types of good. Mm-hmm. Hit them up on their Instagram page, steaming hot grab. Yep. And last but not least, Bear Medicine, where bear things are going. This okay. is a, a new dispensary that just popped off in the boroughs, okay, in the East End. Um, okay. What Dusty's just holding up is a the caked brand um, that they have over there, okay? The dispensary is over there at 130. It's not. It's more than a dispensary, actually. It's like a um, a shop that has munchies and stuff like that. I got munchies here today. Oh, so yeah? I'll, I'll pull out a couple See of these the, munchies. Right. But um, if y'all want to check them out, 131 Montezuma Trail, one light north of Finch off Brimley. The only okay. dispensary in the east that carries high-end cannabis. Um, the one caked. Um, Shatter, Grabba. They got rooms. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They got rooms. Um, <laughs> edibles um, out of That's BC. And the exotic snacks, fam. Look at this. Okay. What's that? Oreos? Some okay. Oreos from, I think, Japan. Or you got to give it to them to have, for having the munchies there, Strawberry too. and blueberry, yeah. though. The inside, instead of it being uh, white vanilla, I guess it is. Yeah. With these squashies. This is like a an dope. arrow. You got to do a video where you're trying these. I'm going to listen. We're doing it right now. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, no. You know what I'm saying? You want to you want to try one of these Some squashies? Yeah. 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 What are those candies? You know, I'm a, I'm a candy person. Oh, I have to bring those candies back over here. And Squ- I'm going to trade off for some chips. Right. What you kind of chips are those? These are some hot and uh, hot and spicy braised duck tongue chips hey yo wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying one so, of these things just doesn't and, belong and I'm, I've been dying to open this one right here yeah the Pringles there's the Pringles but seaweed um, chips yo let's uh, try that let's, let's bust it open right now let's try that and also they got a, um, a Brampton um, location over at 186A um, Main Street South oh right? yeah so check them out on their Instagram page, Bear Things Four One Six Scene. But Dusty, yeah, what's how, up? how's your week been? While while uh, we're getting into our, our munching some chips and stuff, man. I'm sorry, I'm, yo, a, I'm yo, asking you to, that, to talk that, while you have your mouth that full. Chip is hidden, <laughs> that flavor is hidden. Him, what do you huh? think? What do you think? First of all, before I even ask you, tastes kind of pause, but it tastes like sushi. So sushi and a chip. Yeah, nice. Like you know when you eat the. You consume the, the sushi, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the seaweed around it. Yeah. Oh, like the wasabi. I just, yeah, t- I just like, tasted I, and some then of I it. I got the wasabi mm-hmm. the same time when you, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is that weird to be on a chip? I'm not mad at it right I'm now. I'm not mad right. at it. Yeah, yeah. I like sour cream and onion. I don't. It gives off that sour cream and onion kind of vibe. Sorry, I talk with my mouth full. Yeah. I hate sour cream and onion. So yeah. For me to like this, it's, it's all that, right. That's all right then. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but right. while my mouth is full, how's your week been, bro? <laughs> <laughs> pause, pause, <laughs> pause. Super big part. Uh, yo, my week's been good, man. Mm. Uh, last week was what Halloween. You know what I mean? You know, did my thing with the kids. Yeah, yeah. Hung out, scared some people. You know what I mean? Did you dress up? Yeah. What'd you dress up as? I should have came on the pod. Yeah, I, went I know. To, I went to. I went to radio. In my uh, one, in my onesie, <laughs> you know what I mean, <laughs> Roro Dollar walked in and he was just like, <laughs> I'd seen me in like a gorilla onesie, like, oh, like a gorilla suit onesie. My bad. Next year, I got something for you guys. Next year, you got to pull up on the set. With oh, the- I ne- you know what it was? It was just that 
that last time we recorded, mm. we had to come earlier. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So my yeah. mindset was just like, let's get, let me get there. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? So I didn't, I didn't do you what didn't I was pop supposed out to do. With the gorilla yeah, suit. Which I, I, you know what I mean. And then when I got home, I seen it. I was like, "Damn, what am I doing?" But yeah, you know what I mean. Just had a good, productive week. Mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. keeping myself positive, and you know what I mean. Just watching what's going on in the in the industry, watching what's going on in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just you know what I mean. Just not letting it consume me or mm -hmm. nothing, but just knowing what's going on and keeping a keeping a focus to it. You know what I mean. Not not a main focus to it, but just keeping my eye out for the. And, and what's real and what's not keeping yeah. your head on a swivel yeah for sure yeah for sure um, what about we, you we, we listen the highlight of my week was oh, the yeah. Conway show when they said Conway this is what you got to do your ass got to be out of here by November number two <laughs> boy got that shit on though I got it on boy got that shit on though what's thank up you, Kate. thank you Kate my beautiful family in the building you know what I'm saying Make some noise for the fam in the building. Hey, yo, what's next, DJ T? I feel like rapping, man. We, we linked up and we went to the Conway show. Yeah, that was just like sudden. You know, I saw, yeah. I saw the stories that, that looked like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Conway did his thing over here, fam. Yeah. I, listen, I'm not gonna act like I'm a big consumer of the man's music and stuff, and I listen to Bear Conway albums. Yeah. But just from a standpoint of watching somebody put on a good show, yeah, and the music be good. So good. I'm like, wow, I like this song Yo, too. I like, he, like, he very impressive. Yeah. Very impressive. Yeah. I was very like, you know. I know a lot of his songs, mm -hmm. but then there were some I didn't know. But it, you could tell what kind of crowd it is. Talk it's not. Me. It's not like a crowd surfing crowd. Mm. It's it's really that that essence of hip hop. Mm -hmm. Everybody is studying the man's words as if it was like Moses with his staff yeah. just parting the Red Sea, like whoom, like right down the middle and everybody's just nodding just, hypnotically. And everybody just <laughs> followed. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? If he went to this side of the stage, the right side, he, you're following. Yeah, went yeah, to yeah. The left, You're following. Then he switched up like his gear a little bit in between. You know, like not even like He was just break. taking off layers. Yeah, he was just taking off layers. I'm like, yeah, he was hot as hell in that. When this guy Most came out it. in a poncho. Yeah. 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 It was a sick one, though. Yeah. It was yeah. a sick one. No, that was a dope, dope, dope show to be at. Um, one thing, though, I do want to mention, and um, yeah. I guess we'll get, get on this early, and yeah. I'm not going to spend long on this. Okay? okay. What's up? Because, you know, <laughs> surrounding around that show, there was different artists that are there with him. Salute to Drumworks. Okay. Salute yeah. to Goose, by the way, who yeah. is We Love Hip Hop alumni. That's his younger bro yeah. who I interviewed a few months back. Yeah. Toronto, it's that time. Toronto, I need y'all to make some motherfucking noise for drum work so goose by the way. Man, what's up? Are y'all fucking? What's up? <coughs> um, and there's another guy in their crew named Jay Skis. Yeah. I was supposed to interview this gentleman. Yeah. Um, I we they hollered at me. I didn't holler at them. They hollered okay. at me. They sent. They found the email address. Emailed me. Said, "Yo, we got Jay Skis coming in town. Ray Tay Tay. We organized the time. It was supposed to be early on. We went to the show Wednesday, so it was supposed to be Thursday morning. Yeah, fam. I'm sitting outside of the hotel waiting oh, for almost man. an hour bro man had his groupies upstairs no right? i'm calling the freaking the point of contact person <laughs> which was a 647 number right yeah. so i'm like okay the person's in the city yeah um yeah. i'm calling that person no answer i'm yeah. responding to the email like yo i'm outside yeah. no answer yeah yo fam i don't usually i've had people ghost before okay and yeah. i haven't aired them out Sounded like a flop to me but that that right there fam that one changed. that wasn't cool fam jay skis correct that shit okay like i don't know if you don't know that your people were playing around or whatever or if you're in on it but correct that shit address that shit because y'all niggas is right next door over there in buffalo y'all love toronto and you come up here show us love but don't come out here and diss the platform or even if you're not going to be able to make the interview just say i can't make it yeah okay yeah but i'm not playing this fuck shit where i'm i'm um, taking time out of my day getting all my equipment, packing it in the whip, and then yeah. sitting outside, and then nobody says nothing. To this day, 
Nobody says nothing. So maybe if you hear this shit now, maybe y'all will say something because that was some fuck shit that you did, bro. Okay. And if it's not you, then it's some fuck shit that your team did. Correct it. Period. You, 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 you. So now, now that, now that you got that out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo. Now that you got that out, how you feel? <laughs> <laughs> how you feel? No, no, no. I feel you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, can't. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? I feel you, man. But you never know what could have been the circumstances. So let's uh, let's see what his response will be. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. Maybe something bad happened or something like. Nah, I hope not. But you know, it's, the, it's the respect. It's just that you know, like you just have the courtesy to say something. What you got to sit? What you, what you got to take in? Anything? Any? Maybe that might not be your character mm. or what you would do. But you cannot ever not expect a, another man's character or what he will do. So if you that, diss the program, at least let me know what I'm going. You know, we can't make it this morning. Well, that's him knowing, telling you what I'm going. Man, nah, man, nah, man, nah. Yo. Nah. What, just by not saying nothing? Yeah. From a, from the thing is, as a rapper, I'll give the rapper a pass because rappers do unprofessional shit all the time. But if your management team is doing that, then you might have to change your management, my G. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If this, if you're hearing this from the We Love Hip Hop podcast from the first time right now with me yeah. yelling and doing all this whatever uh, ranting, uh, then you got to go fix your management team. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, maybe, maybe his management team is like, look, this ain't the move for you right now. Okay. So say that then. True. You know, where the hell True. is my damn sound effect? Where is my <laughs> damn sound effect? <laughs> True. I won't lie. I won't lie, man. <laughs> say that. No, I feel you, man. I feel you, man. I feel you, man. You know? Salute to Bingo right there. That's my Bingo sound effect. Say that. Say that then. Say that then. But I feel you. Yeah, man. You know yeah. I, mean? I just had to get that off my chest quick fast. You know what I'm saying? No, I feel you. Um, also, um, speaking of live shows, we got a live show coming up. The the Puff Puff Pass the, um, Toys um, Showcase. I think yeah, I could remember December second. December second is yeah. over at the Sankofa. Yeah. Um, over there in Hamilton. I think that's ninety two Jackson Street. I'm trying to just do it off the top of my head today, mm-hmm. man. I think this, the the Zoomies got me in the zone oh, today. Oh, <laughs> you micro, you microdosed. A little microdose work oh, today. Shoot, you know what I'm man. saying? All right, all right. Now I know your vibe. Now I know how you vibing. <laughs> now I know how you vibing. All right. Listen, it has the, the, that has no correlation with the rant. You know what no, I'm I saying? No, I get you, but I was just like, that's probably a little extra pep in the step. Don't you want to make me happy, bro? You know I mean? yeah, yeah, but I'm saying, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Put a little extra pep in the step. With yeah. like, let me address something. Yeah, let me get it to my other zone and then you went back into your happy zone get some shit off my chest yeah before it gets you know what i mean because it could probably put you into a little another another uh, man i'm not let, uh, listen Can't even let if that. i didn't get it off my chest yeah i ain't gonna let any of these niggas rent no space in my brain for sure i feel you know what i'm saying especially at jay that. skis you know what i'm saying that. you know um, i don't even really know <laughs> Dusty's like, who are you starting smoke with right now? Smoke with right now? So I'm just like, hey guys, <laughs> are you starting smoke with the craziest killer rapper in the world? <laughs> nah, 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 that's me like, yeah, niggas, you didn't even know I'm over here from Buffalo. <laughs> yeah, niggas, I got a hundred killers out Ch- here. Chitawaga in the building, doubt. Friday, you know freaky, what? what? Inside New York, all that shit, upstate, whatever you want to call it. You well, listen, I mean? fam. I'm not. I'm not on here on some. And no, you're not. I can't even believe we're still on. No, 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 no. You was on something else, though. But I, I'm not here on that. But I'm just <laughs> saying, correct your team. Do some feel, professional feel, shit because that I was feel, unprofessional. Fam. I feel you. But they probably they're gonna come back. So it's probably like when he has a better project going on. Maybe who knows? Who cares? And I, I ain't even gonna give nobody no, nah, 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 no nah, excuse. You know what I mean? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> you but, heard. You heard the man, dog. He said what he I said. said what I said. You know what I mean? He go. He go. He got. He gonna address it, dog. You know right. I mean, I'm just here to just, you know, mediate it a little bit. But if I can't no, stand no, no, in the way, no, 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 no. I, I don't want no strays, dog. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> right now you give it off. So <laughs> like, I'm whoa, radiating. Whoa. <laughs> I'm knocking it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, the Puff, the Puff, the Puff, Puff Pass, uh, the toy showcase yeah. is um, it's hosted by Stone Giants. Yeah. Big up to Can of Cans. Big up to um, Diamond Club, yep. Master Moves, Rise. Yeah. Yep. 
Wonka's, Ghost Drops, yeah. Levitate Studios. Um, I keep on not seeing what this is in the corner right here. What the hell is this? Oh, 100 Miles. 100 Miles. 100 Miles, dog. Yeah, Big Stu's 100 Miles. Oh, and I did get it right. It's 92 Jackson Street East. Okay. Over there in Hamilton. Okay. Um, like you said, December 2nd. Be there, be square. Yeah, I'm if right. you bring a toy um, for an underprivileged child, you can get in free. Mm -hmm. There'll be live performances by a bunch of different rappers in there. And a live podcast by them we love hip-hop it's on it's come on. on come on jesus christ let it clear your phones yeah, it's gonna be some games <laughs> being gonna played be, it's gonna be a fun night man <laughs> let it clear your phones but yeah man yeah. look out for that um december 2nd yeah. um but okay now we can get into some news finally. News. Big salute to the sponsors Diamond Club with delivery all over the GTA and now all across Canada. They got the best selection of flour, edibles, and pens and all types of goodies that you need. You can find them on their Instagram page, Diamond Club underscore Canada, or you can find them on the Seven Days of Weed app as well as the Leafy Things app. Let them know that you heard about them through the We Love Hip Hop Network and they may give you a discount. Big salute to Diamond Club. Cheer! Drake writes a cease letter, uh, or sorry, writes a, writes a letter for a ceasefire between the beef between Israel and Hamas. We sure he, it was his, his <laughs> we sure it's his signature. You know what I mean? Like, well, you know, listen, I didn't get the look through the contents of the letter, but remember, he was getting pressure from yeah, um, but he just did that. Like, TV. Who, he ain't going to stop shit. It's not like Drake could stop shit. But remember, they were like, "Yo, Drake, Vlad." Okay, um, now he did it. Now he it? did it, Vlad. What's he do? What, 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 yo, they <laughs> yeah. just bombed three, three hospitals. Yeah, that's what I was on, saying on, last on time. Saturday, on Saturday, yeah. on Sunday, yeah, yeah, went yeah. hard in the paint. So I don't know. I don't know yeah, that really that, that one. Shit. Yeah, it yeah, doesn't change no shit, man. No influences. Yeah, gonna... you just getting the man now put up in some 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 politics. And you know what's crazy? He got backlash after the. Um, you know, putting his foot forward finally. Yeah. And say, because rather than saying, okay, let me support one side or the other, peace. Let's There's all a, have peace. Yeah, like, but, bro, I don't see anything wrong with that, right? Yeah. But people found something wrong with that. Because, <laughs> bro, they just, it's just, it's just a bunch of people fighting over something they don't even know. All right. So I'm going to pull up something on the Let's screen over real. here. Um, let me see if I can make it a little bit smaller here. One and second. he know it. He know what they. He know what where, where it really comes from. What he what his religion is, right? He know where it comes from, right? Well, so, he's he's Jewish, right? In a certain in a certain aspect, yeah. Well, but like I feel like it, isn't it? And listen for the, my Jewish people out there. Let us know if you have any part of you Jewish. Aren't you Jewish? No, if, if your mother is Jewish, you're, you're Jewish. You're Jewish. Yeah, right. But it's it's also what part? What kind of Jewish? You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. They say what they say. They say Zionist. They say they say uh, there's Askenaz. Askenaz. There's Mennonite. There's all types. Yeah. They, you know what I mean? And then there's twelve tribes, and they say it's two brothers that split apart. And you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't want to get all biblical on them, right? But y'all yeah. know, y'all know the rest. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. he knows. He knows. He's around a lot of. Um, Caribbean influence, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he knows he's been in those con those that room, you know what I mean, in those conversations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, like yeah. how does it feel to be that? And not, and do you know this was we were the first, or do you know like something? You know what I'm saying? Like again, people get political with it, right? Yeah. So but it's I feel like he he lives more of the black experience than of course because he was Jew shunned and just the way he looks, like Drake. No matter what people say. Um, him being biracial, rah, 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 him being Jewish. When you see Drake, you see a black guy. Yeah, you see more, a light skinned black guy. I bet you more Jewish people hate him than 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 black people. Yeah, yeah. Just I'm, that's this is why his crew is the way they are. Yeah. Growing up, even like before that, like the guys that he was meeting back in the days, like yeah. he was getting accepted by black people. Well, yeah, but his own. Yeah, in a sense, right? Okay, we're all mixed. Yeah, mixed up in some way, right? So it's like. That, that's not gonna hold me back from being friends with my my boy who who celebrates Hanukkah. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> like, well, that ain't gonna hold me back. Everybody was on his head top. He finally said something. Yeah, and now he's still gonna get. He still gets backlash because it all. says here Israeli woman Israeli woman gets mad at Drake because 
he called for a ceasefire. And she said this. So he should be there in his rap song. For weeks about the massacre of his fellow Jewish brothers and sisters in Israel. But this week he called for a ceasefire. Drake, you have no guts. You have no identity. Wow. You don't know who you are. You've spent your whole entire life, what? like most people in the world, proving to everyone and to yourself that you're special. We love hip hop. This week you proved that you're ordinary. You don't know who you are. Big whoop. <laughs> you can make some good music. When it comes to things that matter, you have no identity. You will do anything to be famous, to have friends in Hollywood, to make money, to be successful. You couldn't say anything about Israel until it was officially cool to say something about Israel. The ceasefire. There will be no ceasefire until Hamas uh, until is destroyed, cool. until our hostages oh. are back. You are a oh. coward. Oh. You are such <laughs> a disappointment. Yo, wow. She's Not going in. She sounds like she has a lot of, like, no, a lot it, of that is anger toward and, herself. Is she, because she's because like, they don't know who they are. Yeah, they don't know who they are. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Let's so not I'm get into that. Let's, get, say, it, let's not get into that. Let's not get into that. Yeah, it was right, dog. <laughs> yeah, it was right, dog. Listen, 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 I know, listen, I know, listen, I know, listen. I know. Don't make me have to cut nothing out of this episode, my G. Just chill. <laughs> all right, chill. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> but look at her. Look She's at going her. off. She went in the paint off. Well, the thing is, this is, what, this is what we were saying before in a few episodes ago. Why say something? Because either way, you can't win, my nigga. You yeah. say something, somebody on one side is going to get <sighs> cheesed, right? And the man wasn't even like saying one side or the other. He was just like, Yo, everybody just chill. She wanted a rap song of him like spinning the block. <laughs> on Palestine. That's what she wanted. And yeah. that's going to make him a non coward? Yeah, you make good music. That's crazy. But yeah, yeah, but you didn't spin the block on Pal- like, Palestine. Like, yeah. come on. Come like, on, that's fam. what she wanted to hear, bro. That's crazy. Cause but you're asking for too much. You're fam. asking for way too much. She wants blood. She wants this nigga to go and go write a a a, a Palestine. Uh, sorry, a a Hamas drill song. Yes, she <laughs> wants him to spin. <laughs> like, yo, yo, fam, yo, so they can do their dances, bro. Come on, fam. I think I think he did the best thing. Just yeah, call for peace. But it, yo, yo, no one's gonna learn until this thing. D- till, till everything is like really tragic, bro. And I, that's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? It just sucks. We ain't going to learn until it's all tragic. It sucks because peace, it's easy to say, yo, everybody, you know, just let's be peace. No, it's not. When everybody's doing there's so much pain and lives it's, lost on one side. It's like, the, it's like the streets. Yeah. You try to tell these drill niggas to chill. They're like, fam, this nigga popped my friend. Like, broad daylight in front of, in front of everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and you're going to tell me to chill? Chill, doc? I'm spinning. So I get that <laughs> part. But still, fam, it's not the worst thing to tell people. Like when we tell these jewel rappers, yeah. maybe you all need to have some peace. No, we're not trying to tell you forget all of the stuff that happened. But <laughs> like if you keep on continuing a cycle. Yeah. We're never going to stop killing each other, fam. Yeah, and we, we do our own genocide, right? Yeah. And we're, we're the ones. I, I was thinking about it the other day. I'm like, oh, man, they got us good. They made us make rap music and just mess us up. Brag about it and stuff, bro. <laughs> they mess yo. They're like, yo, how do we just destroy this shit? Yeah. And they did a great job. So I'll give them it, credit. When it comes to something like this, yeah. like I get where she's coming from. Where it's like she you do. I get where she's coming from. She doesn't. She's like, yo, fam. What do you mean, peace? Like, yeah, I no, right? I I kind of do, but I kind of don't. She's being broad with it, like. Okay, with our culture, we're sneaky. Mm. We ain't going to be on what well, we do. Sorry. <laughs> we do get online and be like, <laughs> they'd be calling out their ops, right? Yeah. She's doing the same thing we do. So that's crazy. So is, you know what it is? It serves them right too, in a sense. You know what I mean? Because like, cause I think it's now they're, you're showing, they're showing their true colors, dog. Because why would you want to be, if, you, if that person's living there too, in the same place, they can still get bombed too, right? True. Right. So like, why would you say, say that? Because that the same thing you're saying can happen to you. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. I, I'm, and I know how, whatever they're saying on the other side, they could be saying, right. But it's like, it's not going to be easy to tell people to just say peace and no war and peace in the middle East and all that. And nah, dog, this is our tax paying money. Yeah. You create, there, there's no way we can, they're going to stop that. They already, we, they already put our money there. Yeah, and it's not easy there's to say There's two wars going peace. on, my dad. Yeah, there's actually more than two, I feel like. And there's one in um, Congo. 
Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. Bro, the place yeah. is mod right now. There's there's multiple world wars going you know, it's, on. It's honestly, it's inevitable. All right, war. Yeah, just I, like conflict in general is inevitable. To have everybody on the planet, all eight, what eight billion, seven billion yeah. people, whatever, to all be on the same page and agree and have maturity with that. That's insane. And respect, man, it's not. Like, it's happen. inevitable. Yeah, that's yeah. hard. There's always going to be a power struggle. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know? got one madman sit down like, yo, how do we take over the world? Yeah. You know what I mean? And then they display their weapons and, yo, there's places where they're 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 displaying. They have a parade for their weaponry. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's on, like Donkey Kong in certain places. Like, they're showing, like, we have this up. We'll yeah. blow up the place. Play with us. You know what I mean? So people are trying to go in there and play superhero. Yo, man, this place, this place going crazy. You yeah, know what and, I mean? and then they, they want people to pick a side. That this is what she's on. She's on some pick a side shit. Yeah, but boy, right. yeah, her whole, whole argument is personal. Yeah, it's but not, I think all no of like, I think it's a whole culture of mad of just people who are upset. Let's just be real, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. There's a whole bunch of generational trauma, dog. So. We're not I would like as black people, we're not the only ones going through it, but it's kind of like we're not involved this time. You know what I mean? I'm just being real. We're not really involved. Yeah. For yeah. once, right? Because I've <clears throat> never seen nobody come jumping up when 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 the kids are dying out here on the streets like this, right? Yeah. Let's just be real, right? We get it for like a day or two and that's it. Yeah. Turn the next page. You know? Yeah, nobody's blasting off saying, yo, somebody should say something for Chicago. And then having this kind yeah, of energy. Blowing up, blowing up. Not to, sorry, but not to say it like blowing up police stations or whatever they're doing, right? When a cop kills another black person, we're not doing that. Yeah. yeah. Or they're not even doing that for us, right? So I'm just being honest. This is an ancestral thing, right? Mm. And, uh, and they already done claimed what they want to claim of land that was Africa, anyways. So I'm just going to stay out of this one and let let God decide because God's watching on this on this on this end, you know what I mean? Yeah. He yeah, watched. Yeah. I'm not even he, source is watching. Like, I'm not even. I, I, I think Drake shouldn't have said nothing. I, and he shouldn't have said a damn he thing. He shouldn't know, say no, cease, nothing. Said Just how nothing. when, when um, Vlad was on his head top about like, say something, he should have yeah. stayed silent like he yeah. was. Salute to 40. 40 was out there um, speaking his part. He's out yeah. there using his social media. Yeah. Different members of his team could do that. But him, the guy. Yeah. Just leave it alone. Let everybody else talk about it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no responsibility to have to say something as an entertainer. And then now you got people like saying, little small minded people. Well, you know what? That don't really matter because like, OK, let's just say it was another high profile uh, Jewish man mm-hmm. or woman coming like that at Drake. Then it would matter. You know what I mean? Because they'd be calling for a cancellation. A cancellation because the man wants peace? That's the craziest that, that, thing I ever heard I mean, in my life, Exactly. Bro. So they can't show that, though. If there's a real, like, entertaining entertainer or big big person who's Jew, they can't show that, that yeah. they really want this place annihilated deep down inside. You know that, what I mean? That would be a crazy public display. Imagine this, okay? Drake comes out and he's like, yeah, yeah, no more Hamas. Bomb them all. Spin the People block. People be like, yo, what is Drake saying? Spin the block. Yeah. Oh. This is what she wants him to say. Smoking on a, on a Palestine pack. Like what? People will be like, That'd what? Be, what? It doesn't even matter about him losing his fans or whatever. People will look at him like, yo, are you crazy, fam? Just say peace. Yeah. And I know he has a lot of, <laughs> he probably, and he has a lot of Arabic friends too. Yeah. I know he has a lot of, a lot of friends, man. So he can't. But they know he where he comes from, but they know also where he comes from. And you know vice I mean? versa. If he was Palestinian and he came out as Palestinian Drake and he was like, yo, all you Israelis, ah, ah, y'all can get it. Like people would be like, yo, Drake's going crazy. What's wrong with him? Yeah. Why is he going barking off on the on, yeah, on TV like but this? I wouldn't, the- wouldn't want to. Ah, man, I just feel bad for him because at the end of the day, he's just probably just. He just had to say something. The man's on vacation, bro. <laughs> yeah, but he's probably watching. He's he's, but, he, but he's watching. But he's watching his own. Like, okay, in a sense, his people them blow the blow people up right now. Yeah, on some, yeah. So he's like, "Yo, y'all gotta stop. Cease fire. This is crazy." Yeah, you know what I mean. To his people, he's saying that. Shut up, Drake. <laughs> yeah, they're like, "Yo, yo, me? <laughs> what? <laughs> what?" Yeah, yeah, bro. But salute to Drizzy, man. Like, keep it kosher, dog. And and listen, 
I will echo that sentiment. Cease fire. Everybody just chill. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, I got a, I got a, um, another war type story, but a, a, a well, local what? war. What? There was a uh, member of the robbery, the streamers. Well, yeah, I, I, I caught wind of it. I seen yeah, something that yeah, went down yeah, a couple, yeah. couple weeks ago. No, no, we reported on the freaking yeah, yeah, annoying Cap the God. Actually, I no, I will cover that on live. No, no, no. I remember we were speaking about right? it too. And salute to Cribbas. Cribbas mm-hmm. was present too yeah. when the robbery went down. Okay. Okay. So Must from be- behind the scenes, mm-hmm. I got some information Ooh. that the four people had gotten arrested. What? Yes. Okay. And I went on live. I was reading the paperwork. They were saying the, the, they gave the breakdown of the amount of jewelry, uh, the amount that the jewelry was like, mm, I think mm-hmm. 27,000 for the pendant. Yeah, right, man. 17,000 for the watch. They didn't even look too shiny either, though. And the people in the, in the comic <laughs> gang was like, wait a minute. But, 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 but wait, how do you have all of this information, though? Like, how do the police have all of this info? Because I also broke down how they got caught, right? The guys who um, <coughs> allegedly did the robbery, right? We'll, we'll throw allegedly's on that. Okay. They said when they flashed the chain on Instagram, yeah, the the police used facial recognition. Wow. And the thing is, their face wasn't there for a long time. It was like a split second. They used facial recognition and was able to find find out the one person through their database. Right? Okay, we got one person. Then they went and and Scary. I guess. From the paperwork that I have here, Cap did a, a police report, right? Mm-hmm. And they got the license plate and different things like that. Mm-hmm. The license plate went down to a rental shop. Mm-hmm. They found out who the car was registered to, mm-hmm. used the GPS tracking system on the rental, mm-hmm. and they still had the rental rented. What? Yes. God damn. And then they found exactly the location where they arrested the four people, and then they found more guns and more <gasps> stuff. That's crazy, man. Right, no. and I even in the thing I I put out the names of who two of the guys are rappers, right? What? Southside Up T, and I forgot Yo, the other. Oh, that's name. my guy, man. Yo, oh, oh, right? free, 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 free up though. Now the question is, <laughs> free up. Yeah, no, no, free, free up, free up, free up, right? Free I, up. And I put on the thumbnail, he someone snitched, right? Yeah. And on Reddit, they're going crazy. Why are you calling them a snitch? Da 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 da. Who? So who cap the god. Why you? Because they did. Now that's the question. Did are they considered snitches if they're not street niggas? <sighs> they're on the sidewalk. They're on the sidewalk. <laughs> See, just, <laughs> they're, they're on the sidewalk, though. But yeah, they were on the sidewalk for yeah, the day. Anybody, anything that has to put away somebody, like take away their freedom, and you got to remember, they're gonna go harder in the paint. On a person who lives in the city. Okay, if it was a person from the city, they wouldn't have said shit because mm-hmm. they got to walk around here still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not saying shit, right? Boom. But you go somewhere else now and somebody take you for a pump overseas. Over, right? You're overseas. <laughs> you know what I mean? You come to little Toronto and you thought it was all sweet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We put the nigga got the EBGBs. We put y'all put the fear of God in that nigga, that little nigga. Yeah, that's why he talked. You know what I'm saying? I could see why he talked because he thought it was a soft situation and he talked. So now, nah, nah, he talked. No, okay. and he talked on the mandem. No, you're snitch. Okay, okay. Take out, and I mean, yes, th- I'm gonna have to do this with you, Dusty. You, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You take out the personal of the okay. man, them, or whatever. Okay. No, I'm just, just saying, like, from not a, even like personal. I'm just saying, I'm who, saying Toronto in general. Okay, just take that out and just okay. say, let's say there's a nigga who uh, his life usually or even before this was out him out there working on the corner, you know, moving packs, whatever, whatever. And now he's a streamer. Or he was just a nerd playing games in his room and he's a streamer. But still, he, these he, two different individuals, yeah. right? The one guy who was a street nigga before, I could understand, you can't snitch. Okay, cool. But if you were just a nerd growing up in your room, kid, and now you're a famous streamer, I feel kind of like you're okay. a civilian. Okay, there's two sides to this now. Okay, if you're a dark nigga, but you're a smart dark nigga, you know you wouldn't rob them two niggas. What do you mean? Like a black, black person? No, like a dark, dark person. Like you're dark, you get dark with it. Right. Okay. But there's mean, people who get dark and they're smart. Mm. So you would know this streamer is not built. He's a sidewalk streamer. Yeah. yeah so yeah, you're yeah. not going to do that. All right. I'm going to give it that. I'm going to give it that. So I'm putting it on the person who did it. 
You should know not to go after a person like that. Yeah, because you know he's going to snitch. He's going to snitch. Or he, not snitch. He's going to go do what the, his only recourse is. Because if you're not a street nigga, yeah. I'm going to give the sidewalk niggas some, some bail today. If you're not a street nigga, your only recourse is yeah. the police. Yeah. But I'm, I'm saying, though, he no, hold on. He should not be. But he, at the end of the day, they the person who's doing their this action mm. is a real nigga. Yeah, well, so they're, they're street they're, niggas. They're, yeah. yeah, so they should know they're playing with a sidewalk nigga. There's another way to deal with this. They should have been smarter on how they dealt with that. Right, right. Right. So it's kind of their fault because they should have when they did their research and they know it's a soft youth. They should have dealt with him a little more differently. Right. For him not to even file a report. You just got your things taken and that's it. Go home. Boom. You're gone. You got it taken because there was no nothing involved to like make your life feel threatened right? right so now now he's a sidewalk nigga he's gonna tell so that's on the other dudes i'm i'm that's I'm, on the uh, the robbers to yeah, know well, this nigga's gonna tell yeah he's gonna tell right but they masked up they i think they i think they they made sure that they took all the, pro- the precautions like they they wore masks they did all the robber things that robbers yeah, do to that, make sure that they're um what you call anonymous like, right? I, like i said there's people who get dark and then they're smart and then there's people who are dark and not you know what i'm saying then if you're gonna go after and be online and showing showing the chain and making it go they on shouldn't have done that they part. shouldn't have done that Right. Right. But I, that's part of the game these days, too. Right. Niggas, you, you I, rob somebody. I, they got to do the but, greasy neck tour. But let, uh, everybody let, uh, come get your shit back. Ha ha ha. Let's go do the research on how many of those guys had to give it back. But they get the payment because the person's like, I'm going to call the police or the person doesn't even say they're going to call the police. And they just they want, called them. <laughs> right. Like, who knows? Right. Like yeah. You'd have to do the research on how many of them people got it back or how many of them people went to jail for doing that. Well, I got one. Big salute to DJ Drama. Yeah. DJ Drama actually had the same situation. Yeah. Months before. Yeah. No police was called. Because he knew he could get it back. And he got his shit back. Yeah. But that's to show you the youth didn't have the change. And the thing is, (laughs) Drama, he's represent. I feel Drama is known to represent the street shit. I don't know what he was doing in his his life prior um, to him being a DJ, but he's on so many gangster grill um all these different mixtapes with all these different gangster rappers he probably had a in his mind i got an obligation to not go to the boy them i'm gonna just go holler at whoever i need to holler at someone someone showed him someone showed him he can get it back you know what i'm saying but even if he couldn't i don't think he would have called the police no you lost your shit you got more money go get that back yeah right now you're dealing with some young youths and they're playing a different game they're dropping it first before they get blamed you know what I'm saying? So it's a different game you're playing with these little new kids. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real. I think those ki- those specific guys and, you know, I think they really consider themselves sidewalk niggas. They don't feel like they have any infraction. There's no violation there. They're like, oh, what am I supposed to do? Of course Kai, I call the police. Kai, so. Kai just did a seven days in, in, in jail. Oh, we're going to get to that too. <laughs> so I'm like. But they're, they're pretend jailing. Yeah, I know. It's right? so If somebody crazy. goes and takes Kai to not chain, he's going to tell too. He going to tell. I think so. I, think I don't think he's fight. a street nigga who's going to be like. I think he'd put up a fight. He I might put he, up a fight. I think he'd put up a little, a little fight. I think he a little more. He comes from a different. If a nigga puts a gun in Kai Sinat's face, says yeah. give up oh, the he, jewels. He's going like, he, the right? nigga could take it off with the gun. Exactly. <laughs> the nigga <laughs> could just that. take it off with the gun. Right? <laughs> just <laughs> hang the chain on. And, and, boom. And, and turn, and turn <laughs> your hand to the left. Right? Okay, cool. But and, when and those guys leave in the van or wherever they leave in, Kai Sanz could look at the license plate and he's going to tell the boy them everything yeah. that happened. Yeah. I know I'm not trying to put it on his jacket or whatever, yeah. but I just feel he's in that civilian class mm. that if somebody, um, I don't know what the official term is, but if yeah. some, if a nigga robs him, mm. he's going to make a police report too. Yeah. And, but he's just, but uh, that other nigga, I don't think he had the bread because they told that, they told that little, that little, that, that little streamer to uh, fork up some, some dough, some guala. And he couldn't do it. <laughs> well, listen, he already, he already had a different plan. <laughs> yeah, because, because he couldn't do it. Because like, if he could do it, he would have just been like, all right, man, I'm going to keep it trill and give him a little paper and get back my thing. Don't go to the, don't get nobody in trouble, right? He Smart. said, I got, I got my crew on it. Wow, Zers. <laughs> <laughs> 
me when Sheriff Hong Kong come for you. <laughs> I got my whole crew on it. Don't <laughs> yeah, handle bro. that for me. <laughs> yeah, man. But, Get my shit right back. <laughs> yeah, man. It was a. It, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. They I wear blue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are, are they a Crip set too? <laughs> <laughs> These guys said they, they roll with legal things. Oh, man. They, I feel, they're blue. They wear blue. They got guns. So, so do you, do you per, did he say personally he went to the White M? Fam, I read the police report. His, his name is in, in the it? police report, fam. His man. gubby. And it said, so and so said that the license plate was this, da 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 da. Um, wow. um, what happened to him in the van? How much his jury of what what it cost and what Is they it, took was from it him? Insured? It was it insured? Um, I didn't see that part. And listen, fam, I'm reading a court report, fam. Hmm. I'm there, like, what the hell? And listen, for the people in the comment gang, I can't post the damn paperwork. Okay, Why? niggas like post that, post that. Why not? I, I can't do it, fam. I can't do it. Why not? It's can't. exclusive, fam. It's, oh, it's, it's okay. that exclusive, fam. Man. You know what I'm saying? That's but, that, but then then but I'm just saying like yeah, you're right, because there's other man's names in it now, right? Yeah, there's niggas' names in there. I want oh, to respect man. them niggas. Respect them niggas. I'm not trying to fucking yeah. out their shit, but like, bro, yeah. these niggas told. And I want so, to know if that's okay. No. <sighs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, because you thought we were soft. You thought we were so- you thought Toronto was soft. You, you deserve what you fucking that, get. Eh? No. But you know that that's his boy. Put that on annoying. The guy annoying TV. He did mm. that little stream before yeah, he was talking that. about like Toronto. I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah eh? Right? <laughs> yeah. But he wasn't he didn't get yapped. He didn't have nothing on. Yeah, yeah. It was his boy who had Fortunately. the big- the big chain yeah. with the, the, the cap on it. Yeah. And he was shining, yeah. shining. Yeah, because he was the one who was like, yeah, yeah, fuck Toronto. Yeah, eh? Well, listen, fam. Yeah. If y'all want to tap in, annoying cap. I, I seen the little stream yesterday. The man said, yo, half an hour? Oh, that's yo, too long. Fam. I'm not. So on top of the fact that these guys have the, have the robbery on them. Wait, so. Wait. They didn't catch them the same day, right? How did they just find it? So that that shit must have just been left and like it just stayed in the car when they found it. So it just stayed in the car when they found it. I'm confused. Right. Um, they'll spend a half an if hour on they, that. If I don't don't even speak to them because if they got the. F- can cojones to fucking dial 911. I don't even want to be on nothing, no stream with these guys. Eh? Leave them alone. Leave them alone. I got to keep my eye on my door. Yeah, yeah. Like, fuck up, no, bro. They do VPN real quick. No, leave these guys alone. If Officer, they, they he was give, yelling at me on the stream. He's at do, this address right here. Yeah, do not give these guys no light. Because if the man's them from here start now getting in their DMs and they're gonna call they're gonna call the whole they're gonna put a an internet thing on us, bro. It's a whole different story after that. I don't wanna play with these people. Officer, I was on Twitch and I felt threatened. I ain't playing with those people. <laughs> I ain't playing with those people. Leave those those kids alone. Oh, you man. know what I'm saying? Leave those guys alone. They they making direct police reports, dog. Cappy Cap. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. That's a great name for him, though. Cap. Yeah, yeah. Capping. <laughs> He's straight capping. Cappuccino. Oh man. Um. Before we get to some other topics, I I have yeah. there is some new music. Big salute to Steaming Hot Grabber with a variety of different grabber flavors and dispensers. They got Red Rose Grabber, that Red Herring Grabber, and Peanut Butter. Hit them up on their Instagram page, Steaming Hot Grabber, and use the code We Love Hip Hop and receive a discount on your order. Again, you can find them on Instagram, Steaming Hot Grabber. Now let's get back to the show. Yeah, that popped off. Um, not a top six that I put together, but like there's some new music. Did you did you hear that new Presta tune? Yeah. Minimum wage. Yeah. To the back to the back to no minimum wage. I come from dash in the pile. Throw pants in the air like he rattles. Yo, minimum wage. Is that is that his vo- new voice? I don't what know. do you mean his new? That, that just, trips me out. Bro. Nah, man, he growing. He has an artist. He growing, man, he dog. He been growing. <laughs> nah, he growing. Presses in his late twenties. No, man, you get voice. what I'm saying, man. I'm not. T- I'm. You see, I'm not speaking like that. I'm speaking in a. I, I feel like a, they did something to in a worldly sense. In a worldly sense, for the world, people always thought it was auto tune. 
Yeah, but that's his real voice, That's man. his voice, man. man. I've spoken to Preston multiple times. It's, that's his voice, man. His voice is... He has a high, trebly voice. Yeah, I'm back on the map with this one, bro. I like this, fam. Yo, what, what possessed them to get into that cadence? What do you mean, dog? They like they think we're soft, dog. So we're gonna show them what we're about, B. Yeah, I like, I like this, bro. I like this person. Yo, the yes, mix, the mix more in, of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's tight from like you know what it is. I'm telling you, as an artist, refreshing. he's grown. Like I'm, I'm like yo. I can listen to him even more now. Yeah. Give me about five more of these cadences. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? He talking that, he talking that, that shit. He got you rolling. Yeah. He got you rolling in the video, man. Don't get me wrong, neither with press. Um, let me put this back on the screen here. Don't get me wrong. I, I don't mind the high pitched press neither. Like, Mm. certain tracks like Canada Goose and stuff like that that's my shit man. of course you know what I'm saying that's, like, him, that's him that's a younger artist that's yeah and Demiana but and it, all this, that this was yeah. smart smart of him to keep this like in the back pocket mm -hmm. and then drop it all of a sudden like like people are so confused as to like <sighs> this is his voice this is what he actually sounds like yeah, yeah. he can yeah. do this yeah. like, I swear it was the high pitch the whole time no no and the lyrics are the lyrics are really it like upgraded everything. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm fucking with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah to yeah. a level like. Yeah, no big salute to Press Machine on Yo, this. Yo, people are gonna be remixing this in the states. Watch. Yeah, yeah, I bet you, yeah, I bet yeah, you Drake. Yeah, yeah. I bet you Drake hop on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I bet you Drake go hop oh, on that, that and blow that, this up that even needs more. To happen. Drake pop off the vacay, family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's pop on that. Pop on that. Side quick. mission, real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get the watch as I take. Um, there's also a new tune by 3M French okay. and DJ Mo. He's back. I'm, I'm going to play a little bit of that. Yep. She likes to argue all I hear in the na na na. I don't know. Hmm. Still had me bobbing, man. Too. Still had me going. Yeah. Yeah, dog. What video is crazy, too, man. Yeah, man. Living the lavish life in this video. Yeah, yeah man. You got to. Yeah. yeah. You got to get those kids something to look forward to, man. I, I like this. This is a refreshed um 3m french yeah because like you know he's been going through his legal issues different things like uh -huh, that right uh -huh, like so uh -huh. that's put him on a hiatus and yep. now that he's back like yeah he's he sounds like he hasn't missed a step fam and he actually explains why he was he was away for a bit you know what i yeah. mean doing this thing, you know and i, I f with that he didn't he wasn't I f with that because you're not broadcasting it to the world like this is what I'm going through. Da, 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 da. Like yeah, yeah. go through your thing and just deal with it and then get to your music and you know what I'm saying? He keep saved it, it for the music. Yeah, he, he's not online yeah. giving you every play Foot by step. play. Like, bro, that's how they screw you for real. Yeah. You know what I mean? Keep your mouth shut and just you know, keep doing your thing, man. No, man. Nah, play with that, man. Yeah, I mess with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Money making mollies, man. Yeah, man. Salute to 3M French on that. Salute. Um, there's a couple of other tunes that dropped this week as well. Um, 33 RK and Casper <laughs> TNG, Ready or Not. Yep. And um, Stylo, he dropped a, cat, a track called Captain as mm. well. You know what I'm this saying? This week. Um, big salute to Brown Guy Made It, who did the, the video on that one there. Okay. Um, continuing our news, though. Okay. Joe Button. Joe Button. What's up? Did you see the Joe Button pressing? Of course. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, flipping NJ, but not Caesar, right? His brother, brother. Yeah, yeah. decided to go out and say, you know what? Let me, don't worry, bro. I got this for you. So I was listening to Joe Button podcast earlier and he was actually breaking this down. So there's a little bit more information I'll give you after this. That's Joe Button. You see the word. What up, man? <laughs> pizza, pizza. What's up? Hold on. Did y'all see the man put the cigarette in his pocket? Did he? I think he did. Y'all didn't catch that, word. dude. It's lit? Nah. He put the lit cigarette in his Rewind pocket. That. He actually like, was talking about it earlier, and he was like, <laughs> when I was listening to the show, because it's Saturday right now, right? Yeah. He was like, yo, I don't even know how so I did what? that myself. <laughs> you see the word? <laughs> he didn't throw the cigarette on the ground. Look at this. Look at this. Pizza, pizza. What's up? He... The cigarette disappeared, bro. What's up? Oh, shit. Bro, what's was he scared? What's no, no, no. Pizza, pizza? Fam, he said, yo, you're going to make me hurt you. I know, but you put the cigarette in your pocket. I would have flicked that at him. You know what it was? Because, and this is for like the, the real Joe Button heads, pause. Yeah. 
He says on his podcast, or he said months ago, maybe even a year ago, that he stopped smoking. He got the new yeah, teeth. Yeah, 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 he stopped smoking. And he started, He said he stopped smoking ciggies. And he was all like, yo, I finally did it. I'm not smoking cigs no more. Because everybody associates yeah. Joe Button with a pack um, of Newports. Newports. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, right there, no. yeah. So yeah. now the man's caught on video and he's like, <laughs> 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 he's like, oops. You know what I mean? yeah. <laughs> but I don't think he, I think he was thinking that first. And then he was like, oh. Damn. And it's Caesar's brother. Oh. So that's where the Not cigarette pressed. part. <laughs> like, yeah. Right? I don't think he was scared that's of that. Nigga. You see the word. So he broke it down. He said that they were in the restaurant with him earlier. Um, and salute to the girl that was with him. I don't remember her name. She's from the show. She's just one of his homies that pops yeah. up every once in a while yeah. on the show here and yeah, there. I've seen that. Um, his girl jumped online, said, listen, we know her. If it was a thing, I would have already been left here and went over to New Jersey and dealt with that. Like, yeah. it's so anybody who was trying to say, oh, who's that girl? That's not Joe yeah. Button's girlfriend. Like, yeah. they cleaned that up right immediately. Away. Right away. Right. <clears throat> he said that they were in the restaurant with him and man sent them a drink. OK. Yeah. Um, when the waitress came over and brought the drink, they said it was from Flippin and Jay. So he was saying to himself, oh, Caesar's here. So he's there looking around the restaurant. Yeah. And he don't see Caesar. So he's confused. But then he sees um, like, a, and he, I guess he was talking to the bartender at one point because he went to the washroom and came back. He's, the bartender told him that there was a man that was described who the guy looked like who sent him the drinks. Yeah. So now he's now he gets his eyes and he gets to see who this guy is in the restaurant. Yeah. And this nigga is going back and forth to the washroom, the same <laughs> Caesar's brother. Right. The whole night he's saying. So now he's saying at the end of the night, they just clear everybody out the restaurant. Yeah. And that's when this happened. Oh. So they were already in there. They didn't run up on him outside the restaurant. Like, yo, Joe Button. Yeah, yeah. Like they were following him. Yeah, they were already in there. They were in there and they sent him a drink. Yeah, but they should have. But he. <laughs> Oh, but he knew it was them. He knew it was them, fam. He knew it was them. They didn't want no smoke, though, fam. Yeah. Because one, you have the camera. Actually, not not that you have the camera out, but they didn't do nothing. I know. You were just like, "Hey, yeah. pizza, pizza, Joe Button." But that just like it just. What do you think? It just caught him off off guard. Then I think Joe Button, if it was really gonna go down, he probably would have fought these niggas, bro. I hope so. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he was scared. I think he was annoyed. Yeah, I'm really gonna hurt you, niggas. Like, if you're getting pressed. The guy who's getting pressed doesn't say, don't make me hurt you. <laughs> he gets true, pressed. <laughs> true, 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 true. Right? We watch videos that are too graphic for, yeah, for yeah. here where mans get pressed. Yeah, but they always got Joe Budden on some bullshit from before, right? When he'd be running down the car with those fans. That yeah. Were, yeah. He's done some wild shit, right? So I guess, you know what I mean? All this money you got, you can't be just out here smacking the shit out of people anymore. Yeah, but he, we've also seen Joe Budden pressed. Yeah, back in the days when him and Ransom, yeah. um, the beef that he had with Ray Raekwon and them people, yeah. like, yeah, that's when he was under duress. Like, yo, these these guys are on me. Yeah, right. right? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna have to be active all the time. This nigga didn't seem like he was phased when he seen this guy. Ah, uh, for you to put the cigarette though in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> being dog, that guy, you know, being dog, uh, you gotta admit that one. <laughs> I don't have enough, yeah, yo, I don't have enough time to put this out. Yeah, how do you, I gotta right? get out of here. Right? That, that is kind of shook me. Right, I need to right, 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 right. And if, how do we know he's not? Joe's a real nigga, right? You know, could have had could have had the phone out and something like this. <laughs> I don't know. Well, he was saying in the podcast um, that he did that when mans have the phone out, that means they're not gonna do nothing. Do nothing. I True. was there um, with my girl. Um, driving down and I disagreed. I, I almost paused the podcast to be like, that's not facts because I've seen um, posts where niggas are beating up people, yeah. beating up people, like incriminating themselves yeah. and they're filming it. Fam. Yeah. There's a, their, yeah. their phone is out and I'm like, yeah. yikes, I don't even, this is uncomfortable to watch. Yeah. <laughs> like a nigga sitting out on the ground, getting it, it, punked. It, yeah. Getting the shit kicked out of them. Yeah. Fam. I've seen yeah. where they, sometimes they have to put the, the big smiley face over, over when the, it happens. Down, yeah. yeah. Cause it's just think, too graphic. Like I think if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation mm. with the camera, who, who you find holding the camera? That's true. Right? No, he had but another. If, he had another one if, guy with him. Yeah, if an ex guy is there holding a the camera, then yo, okay, roll up the, sh you know, roll up yeah. the sleeves, mm. roll up the sleeves. But then the guy with the camera could hop in. 
yeah, well, he's gonna have to if you if you get if you get the if better you, of him. If you, yeah. if you get the better of the guy who's running at you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right, yeah. you gotta beat up both of them after. Yeah, okay. take the phone after wanna, him. And be like, I won, and send it. <laughs> That's what game did. Remember when game yeah. beat up um, was it forty Glock or, or something stitches? like that? Or, or no, sti- that was whack. Who punched? He not, he gave stitches a one hitter quitter quitter. Like, right, what? but he beat up. I think the guy's name was 40 Glock. Yeah, yeah. And he beat him into a bush, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he was yeah, filming it. Yeah. Filming it. <laughs> so it's like... Yeah, that, that's I remember impressive. that. Yeah, so sometimes, you know, that can turn left. Mm-hmm. But with this situation here, the guy didn't really want nothing with Joe Button. Nah, he was just he was just clowning him. And they played themselves because apparently Caesar has been hollering at them. He hollered mm-hmm. at Ish mm-hmm. from the show and um, he actually hollered at Queen's Flip as well. And yeah. they've been trying to line up an interview. Nah prior to this but yeah. now this happened and now they're like nah for, bro for sure you ain't coming up here dog so oh, I but he gonna find out where they where they at <laughs> well that, the thing is like press them from there i'd be mad at my bro like bro i was trying to get on the show and then you run no. up there run up on joe button no. doing this stupid shit and now they don't want me on the show i was trying trying to get, explain myself no Joe's gonna now call you the biggest scammer of all scammers. Yeah, of scamming times. <laughs> Worst move ever. Fam. Worst. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know I mean that shows that shows yo man guilt. <laughs> so, so you say so Caesar's guilty, guilty. Oh man, he guilty, guilty. Well, listen, man, salute to Joe Button. Like, I, I, oh, salute to Joe. Yeah, I think he handled he had, himself well. Very well. Minus the cigarette in the pocket. Yeah, trick. I'm going to get at you for that he's one. Gonna, he's going to pick up some magic uh, yeah. so, to be a magician. Fan, the man's pockets must smell, or his no. clothes must smell Yo, crazy. Burnt, you know, he's like, how did that go out? Yeah, how did that go out? You know what I mean? You're in your head like, how did that go out? No, the man put, he probably... <laughs> he probably put the cigarette out with his finger. Oh my lord! <laughs> and then put it in his pocket. But yeah, like he just flicked it, kind of like yeah, took the cherry off, right? Yeah, yeah. But, but it's when still you lit. put a burnt something in in your Sm- pocket, it smells worse. Yeah, yeah it smells like a, a ashtray. Yeah, you know I mean, this nigga went back in the restaurant <laughs> smelling like ashtray. Yeah, it was like ashtray <laughs> market. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> smell like a bucket, a million dollar bucket. bucket. <laughs> Yo, salute to Joe, man. Salute. Um, I got I got one more thing here. Is there any other new story that I'm missing here? There's a lot of things going on, man. There's a lot of things that will come up. Keep going. Yeah, yeah. The, um, the Kai Sinat thing I wanted to bring up here. Yeah, let's go. With the jail stream. Mm. Um, y'all been seeing the different yeah. posts from him in yeah. jail. Let me see. And if I see, yeah, the Drewski one was funny. Um they're getting, they're getting creative with their shit. The NLE Chopper one was hilarious. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not going to let y'all rest because gay jokes only going to go so far. Yeah. They only going to go so far. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Ain't oh, nobody going to take my booty. But, did, um. Did you see the the, the Chopper drop the, uh, a little film? Kai oh, was in it too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He dropped a new music video. It's, a, it's a film. It's like 30 minutes. Who? Emily Chopper. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Actually, let me pull this up. Let me see what it it's looks a, like. It's yeah. a short movie. Yeah, it's hilarious. Emily. Chopper, chopper, chopper. This guy got some great search engine optimization. They're right there near the top. Is this it right here? I took Kai Sanat to my hood and this is what happened? No, no. No, no, that's something else. Hold on. Uh, oh, that, here it is. That, Nightmares yeah, and Nightmare. Cotton Down. Let me see this. I understand. When you're ready. When you're oh, ready. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Let's get crazy. Okay. Let's, let's get mad. But we'll after, you know. Um, so let's see what's going on over here. It's 26 minutes, eh? I don't know what the hell that was. A <laughs> funny Marco. My bad. Fuck him. Uh, oh, yeah, I seen fuck this. Them. I fuck him up. That's what I do. But yo, yeah, right Charleston here. White. That's what we do. Go to the Charleston yeah, yeah. White part. Wow. Charleston White's Real in here, too. Charleston right. White's in this. Yeah, nigga, I fuck him up. Yeah, we fuck him up. Sit your Charles and White's in this. Keep going yeah, back. Go back. What you just did? Light that shit up. Nah, yo, Charleston did it. That's the best part. He uh, he comes in after. Yeah. <laughs> Later on, um, the uncle, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You hit that shit. Smoking. Hit that shit. <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> 
So, they're at me. Guys, they're trying to shoot a ghost. Yeah, they're getting haunted by the yeah, ops. Got, yeah, they're getting haunted by the ops. But yo, but, but yo, Charles did white. Yeah, skip like five minutes. Charles did white fucks him up. <laughs> you smell that shit? And offer a cush blunt. Show yourselves as to why you are here. <laughs> He's like the medium. Yo, watch it. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, hell no. Jeez. <laughs> Being. You know what? I'm, I'm I'm messing with this. Like these guys really put together a production. Yo, yeah, they're man. active. They're it, actors, it's, bro. It's hilarious, man. It's a whole. That's what I was saying. Thing. I was like, Kai is pretty dope, man. Pretty dope with it. 1.7 million views in three days. Yeah, yeah salute. But there, he's getting a little bit of um, pushback or backlash from the um, the jail stream. People are saying, yeah, why is he glorifying jail culture? It's real. Oh my god. It's real. That's yeah, real. Give me your thoughts on that. Are, do that's you agree? Real. No, that's real. I seen it. I was just like, <laughs> when when Drewski started pulling out the 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 doubles out of his ass, I was like, oh god, <laughs> oh god. Yeah, they, I knew where they were going with YouTube. the satire, though. It's YouTube, I knew where bro. they were going with the satire. Right. They're they're making fun of it. They're actually making. They should. If you're a real smart kid, you should be seeing that and be like, I don't want to go there. You know what I mean? Like yeah. a nigga come pull up with a with a McDouble out, out of his butt, dog. I'd be like, yo, it's been warm, it's hot all day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you don't want that. So I see where they're saying they're they're, they're kind of glorifying it. Even when he came out, he's like, yeah, 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 I'm out. He was saying all types <laughs> of shit. Right? It's just like, fuck, right? It's like, bro. So people are getting offended by this. They're saying, <sighs> you, you know, why you, you know, why you using mm. jail as something like that? But like, there's a part of me who I guess agrees with that. When there's part of me who's like, man, yeah. just having fun, fam. He's yeah. being creative. Yeah. He's he's making he's actually also making fun of the amount of people who make jail videos. Yeah. Like there's guys who are doing TikToks from jail and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Why not do a whole live stream from jail? But he did the 60 days in. That's what he did. That's yeah. what he was imi uh, imitating. You like, are I mean? you just going to see him do streams from his room over and over and over again? Like, nah, yeah. fam, let me try something different. Yeah, plus he got money now. He can step it up. Yeah. Like, Don't they put together studio. a whole set. Yeah, fam. Like, it's just a set, bro. Yeah, they put together a set. And there's mad people in there. Like, like it didn't. Other streamers, everything. <laughs> yeah, fam. Yeah, like, Yo, come spend seven days in jail with me. He got rappers <laughs> to come through. Oh, Josh! Josh! YRG! How many people are in this room? Right there, there's like, what, at least two dozen people in the room, fam. Like, there's a lot of people to get together to do a stream with you. Even if all of these guys are just like no-name streamers, bro, you're getting all these people to come out and do a thing with you, bro, yeah. for seven days. Yo, at, at the end, I think it's because it's like jail-themed. Mm. But like, yo, Mr. Beast has hundreds of people, people in his videos. They're all locked up in certain situations. They yeah. get, they're like obstacles and shit like that. But like, you know, people are just judging just because it's like jail, like themed. Yeah, there's, you know, right? there's, the, the, there's think they pieces. They got to get creative with it. They, yeah. You know? There's think pieces. Oh, you know, black people have been going to jail for how long and you're pushing the black uh, or the, the jail industrial complex and Ray Tay Tay. And it's like, I don't think that Kai was thinking that deep when he was making the, <laughs> coming up with the idea. It wasn't because he got money. <laughs> so you're not going to think that deep. Mm, that's true, too. Not gonna think that deep. You're gonna think how I keep the money rolling. Right? Yeah. So to somebody who's probably been through these things, they don't even want to see that. They're not. They don't like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. And they ain't got no money. So they're like, "Damn, that nigga got money, and he, this is what he want to do. He want to put himself there for seven days on some fake shit." Yeah. Yo, you might be there for real. You know what I mean? Fuck around and end up there for real, dog. You know what I'm saying? So you don't think that Kai got no people around him who, who ever got locked up? Yeah, for Being sure. A, a nigga, I think he's from the Bronx. Yeah, right? he's from the Bronx. Um, but I think he, yeah, and um, like his people yeah. might have, he might have yeah, spoke to a few of his him. people, and they might have been like, "Fam, just go do what you want to do, bro. It's gonna yeah, be funny." Yeah, because you ain't never going there. Yeah, right? just, you know what I'm saying? I, like, I don't think that he's coming from the suburbs, and he's like, "Oh, you know, what? I I'm just living a privileged life, jail." Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Like, nah, he's probably has some people who you know's been in jail. Like, he's not making fun of jail. But that's the thing. Look how much. Look how much views it got, right? <laughs> Bro, each clip, it's not even just the YouTube and um, the, the Twitch. 
fam, this shit's been all over all these social everywhere. media platforms, yeah. bro. Everywhere. Like, everywhere. He's, he's eating off of this, bro. Just like, hey, man, do your thing, man. Mm. You know what I mean? Because if you ain't going to do it, someone else is going to do it. And then, you know what I mean? I want to see what he's going to try next. Yeah, he's going to do some real shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, he remember, we last time we reported on him, he did the, the um, Times Square thing, right? Yeah. He was giving away the PS5. Fives, yeah. And that was huge. I ended up getting them arrested. Yeah, because of the riot. Right? Yeah. And now, okay, how is he going to up that? He does a whole jail stream. How is he going to go? Where can he go from here? Yeah. Like if you were like Kai Sinat's Honestly, manager. Honestly, movies. Movies, man. Just Put him in the movie. movies. Yeah. yeah. With that NLE Chava thing. Like, yeah, yeah. Like start put. He's in, he got to do his own his own series or something now. Yeah. They, yeah. They, I think they he can did, act, um, take some acting classes and, and let's go. They did the cypher. You know I mean? They yeah. did the AMP cypher. Yeah. Yeah. Like that whole like group of uh streamers, streamers and podcasters yeah. right yeah, so, i've seen that yeah yeah like, they're also digging into music too because yeah, right? yeah. that's what they like to do he's a dancer though i saw i saw a post on instagram um of kai they're saying like he was he's saving hip-hop right now Low like, key? He's, influenc- <laughs> he's influencing a lot of hip-hop right now well he's around it because of the fact they get around him to sell albums yeah he's the go-to guy right if you want to sell a record or sell uh, you want yo you go on kai's show yeah, you do something with him. Go spend the night in, um, at the at the place. Yeah, dance around, do the sleepover thing or whatever. Yeah, stream. Yeah, get on the Nicki Minaj did it. The, see, <laughs> we brought up Nicki Minaj, yeah, right? There you go. She she got on the stream with him. With him, him right? yeah. But then, she, but then he called her auntie. Yeah, and she got cheesed and <laughs> hung up. But she was there looking like <laughs> I need to get on this guy's stream because yeah. this is where it's at right now. This is where everybody's going. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. 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 No, it's like. Kai's, he might be low key saving hip hop oh, still, guys. bro. Oh, so that's like me saying Adonis is too. Well, the thing is, this is where the game's going, right? The streaming yeah. or the streamers, yeah. him, academics, all mm-hmm. these different guys, they sway the culture. In a sense, yes. Right? Academics goes and plays different music in the beginning of his stream or he goes off on a certain rapper. That's changing opinions of audiences. I think it's a psychological thing. Like the streamer wanted to really be a rapper, but didn't have the guts to mm. until he started getting some, see some money and some notoriety. Then he's like, shit, I'm in the shower doing some, th- I'm what? <laughs> I could rap. I could do this too. Then they get the, they get the, the balls to do that. Yeah. And it's just like the rapper. Now they're looking at it like, damn, I always wanted to act or I always wanted to really be this. Or you just be myself and not have to be tough all the time. Right. Not every rapper's tough though. There's there, you gotta you know what I mean? Not every rapper has to play tough, right? It's how the it's how the image and the persona they make it look in a video. Well, right? look at, or look the at lyrics offset. that are said. Offset, like the Migos are known for being no, no, no. like jiggy guys and stuff yeah, like yeah. that, but they know how to throw they're known to for throw throwing down. falcon punches and jumping yeah. off stages and stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're yeah. not really talkative in their interviews. Yeah. Right? He's a little bit on bad boot. Right. He man goes on Kai's and that's boot. thing. He's dancing. He's having a good time. Yeah. He's showing like, let me let my hair down. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm a nice guy. Yeah. Kai yeah. can do that for you. Yeah. If but he was already a dancer before coming into the group. Yeah. But like, if you're like a gangster rapper, mm. you can get on the stream with Kai and he's going to help you sell some more records. Some more records. All the kids are going to be like, oh, I like this guy. <laughs> yeah. And he's going to ask you some idiot things and you're going to have to deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> and at least he ain't going to go as crazy as my youth there, Aiden. Aiden has just a lot of sus stuff. Oh. <laughs> he has super pauses. You got to just super pause him. Because he's another streamer. Like if Kai's help, um, helping save hip hop, then yeah. you got to give it to Kai, but yeah. Aiden Ross. Um, academics, all these different streamers that guys yeah. want to get on the stream with them or have yeah. them talking about them. That's all it takes. And yeah. they, they have like 70, 80,000 people <laughs> watching at one, one time. time. Yeah. Aiden's, got, Aiden's got that one viral moment with Tory Lanez. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that helped a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. When he was freestyling. Yeah. It went crazy. That oh, helped a my. lot. You know what I forgot to put on the list? What's up? Academics, man. Big salute to the sponsors, Bear Medicine, where bear things are gone. Check out their location at 131 Montezuma Trail, one light north of Finch off Brimley. The only dispensary in the East End that carries the high-end cannabis brand, Cake. Also available, Shatter, Grabba, Oils, Extracts, Shrooms, Sec brand edibles out of BC, and exotic snack shop munchies all in one. Check out their two locations on the east side, 131 Montezuma Trail in Scarborough, one light north of Finch off of Brimley, and in the west, Munchies, 
186A Main Street, South Brampton. If you say we love hip hop, you can get a proper grade, never shake pre roll. Big salute to the sponsors. Now let's get back to the show. Gia. Of course. Yeah, man. Bro. What's wrong, What's wrong <laughs> with you? We're looking at it right now from the DMs too. What's wrong with um, you? With the uh, WAC 100, because. Right. Just to give a, a quick breakdown of what's going on with Ak, right? Yeah. He's him and Saucy Satan. Oh, man. <laughs> I, can't, I can't say this beef without laughing, fam. Because no, it's such gotta, a wild beef. It bro. is, but you got to take it really serious because this is where they're, so I, I want to say, they're getting kind of out of line where they know they have you by the nuts. Did you see this, the, the other Saucy Santana post where they were responding? Because basically, Ak, Wack 100, Troy Av, and I forgot who else was on that same panel. No, that, it was just Troy Av, Wack, and Ak. No, one other person showed up later on in the, in the thing, but. Either way, they, okay. they got WAC 100 to get on the phone with another gay nigga and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. set up the fade. Saucy Santana said something to bro. He can't deal with that. I need you to run the fade for me tonight. Because he gay. And you know, if we say something, we going to be, we going to get in trouble. Denot, you openly gay. Can you run that fade? So you will beat you glisten. Fade. Say yo, if you see saucy, get out of go me. handle that. Yeah. Right? Which I thought was crazy. I'm like, well, you guys are filming this? <laughs> like you're setting up a hit basically, bro. They, they, Chill. They said a lot of things. Right? Wax said a lot of things. But Saucy, did you see the response the Saucy said? <laughs> Academic Stone went and did a link up with Wack 100 and another powder puff girl sitting on the motherfucking couch, face full of motherfucking fear. And then you got Wack 100 calling another bisexual boy like he gonna do something to me. Bitch, who? who? Bitch, where? You done left one headquarters and went to another headquarters, but still ain't show up in Miami, and I'm not gonna see you no motherfucking where. So shut the fuck up. And I was gonna leave you alone once you start the motherfucking. But since you wanna keep. Chatting and you know did a whole bad bitch link up. I got something for you. And whack one hundred, you a bitch. That's why he came and found you. You a bitch ass nigga too. You was the manager that's in love with Blueface. That was mad because Blueface go with Krishan, right? That's you. Mad at a nigga about his bitch. All y'all suck one. <laughs> I wonder if I could find that. Fam, he had her his boyfriend there talking spicy. Like when we see you, we're gonna do something to you. Like. Bro, this fight that academics has been having or this back and forth, I made a video that he can't win because you go beat up, the, you beat the shit out of Saucy Santana. That's like hitting you, a woman. It, it, it is and it isn't. That's like hitting a woman. Fam, that nigga's real. big pause. Nah, I know, I know, I know, I know. He's not no little, I know, small little I know, thing, bro. But then after then, when you really put the pause on them. They're going to call it a hate crime. That's exactly. Yeah. And if he and, and if the person uh relates to being a woman. No, he's I don't I think I got it now with the saucy Santana guy. <laughs> I think he's identifies as a man, he's a gay man, but he yeah. just wears hella makeup. And does weird like does And he has thing. a BBL. That's crazy to me. <laughs> that's why I think Pause. that's why that's why Ak is like what the flying <laughs> am I dealing with right now? Like, like this is, this is how they <laughs> this, and, and then he's a yadi. He's a yadi. So he's like, oh, with a bumba clot. Like, yo, all this Timantinga come at me like this. He knows right now they're trying to cancel him. So he's like, yeah, eh? <laughs> I can't go back to no minimum. Don't get us canceled. <laughs> no, no, no. But like, he knows that's what it is, right? Yeah, You're gonna, yeah, they're, yeah. they're coming at you a sideways way now to make you get out of, out, of, out of character because they're like, let's see if you have the same energy you have for women. Do you have for now this community? Oh, I'm so glad you brought that up, fam, with the women part. Yeah. Yo, Ak has beef with mad niggas, bro. Yeah, I know can, that. Can, can people stop saying he only it. has this energy for women? You know, no, no, no. he's only right. has this energy that's for what, women. That's what they say. He, he, come on, he, had, he went into beef with the whole of Chicago. Like the whole of the Chicago hell? went to get at him. He, <laughs> the man talks so crazy to the um, what should we call it? Um, Jay Critch. Yeah, but they start, they patch that up, right? He was talking crazy to the next guy from Chicago, um, Vic Mensa. Mensa. Right? Like, yeah. fam, like, Ak has equal opportunity smoke, but Bro, with the, every <laughs> who, else, who else is he on right now? Um, he was talking crazy to little baby. He was calling him Le Bebe. 
Who else like, can't come? Who else can't? He, he has no respect, fam. <laughs> he said he'll talk to he'll talk to um uh Queen Latifah, but he won't talk to my son. My he said son. my son's a bum. <laughs> he gave my son the address multiple times. Said, pull up to my headquarters. And can't pull you know up what I'm saying? That. And my son was in jail for mad years. That don't fam. mean that you hard. He's, listen, that don't mean that you hard. The nigga sitting in jail right now. You had to sit in the corner, nigga. Watching well, someone's boxes, nigga. And they come over and gonna tell me a story about some shit just because he was streamer. I was supposed to believe that shit. That's that's how nigga, that's it. Remember, that's remember, 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 uh, tax, yo, that's a taxi cab that he robbed to go to jail, dog. <laughs> Facts. All right. And how <laughs> much? How much? If we pull that up right now, how much did he goddamn get from that taxi cab? Yeah, and he went to jail for mad years. All right. But and, he's got smoke then, for a lot of niggas. Bro. And then came out and then came out and then joined uh what's her name? Mallory. And uh, all Tamika that. Mallory. Yeah, and all that funky stuff and yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, wanted yeah. Biden and all that inside in, in the White House. And now look. And where's he? Nowhere to be found. Can't even pull up to Academics headquarters. Yeah. That's crazy. And uh, bad Meek work. Mill back from before until they patched it up. He was talking hella spicy to Meek Mill and the, the <laughs> and people what? say he doesn't come outside, Whoa. bro. I seen the man in the Miami multiple times yeah, on film. But he has a lot of security. Let's be real. But they do too. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So, so all yo, these niggas have security, <laughs> and this is why he talks like this. He's like, we all got security. Who's really gonna get into throwing hands? Like my all security. your niggas is pussy. No, but my security, my security is gonna part your security so I can get to you. <laughs> if you want your security to crash out, <laughs> right? Yeah. But you're, that's not usually what you're paying the security service for. You might have a few of the man them security that might want to do that for you. But yeah. if you're paying some security service, they're just like, protect my client, protect my client. Yeah. And there's a bunch of rich million dollar niggas running around. Act knows this now, now that he's a million dollar nigga. Yeah. So he's like, you talking to me? Shut up. That's right? kind of, but that's like, okay, that's cool. I'm not going to say he's a guy who throws rocks at a glass house and then hides his hand. Yeah. But it is kind of like going like, it's Mickey. And then playing Nicky Nicky nine door. That's what it is. That's what it is. You know, knocking the door and then you open it ready to punch the nigga. In the, but he's not there. But That's these kinda, niggas is doing that too because they get online yeah. and threaten niggas. Oh, Nicki Minaj, all these different people. They threaten people online. Yeah. But when you see them on road, yeah. they're around mad security. Well, so they are they threatening or are they saying my security is going to mess you up when we see you? Because they're all rich. Yeah, but they're hoping they can get you in a closed quarters by themselves. Like back in the day, if there was no it's security. It's never going to happen at this point in the level. Ah. Like if you're worth a hundred million dollars you're never just going on road just by yourself and catch a nigga on a one us you always got security yeah i mean my security gonna come beat you up though but that means you're not as tough you're saying this because you, you got mean? money That's my gang dog no nah, fam you <laughs> hired this nigga gonna beat bro. your ass up <laughs> me my security and my friends extend legally if it's your friend is no, one thing but that's if when you it becomes illegal. a service that's when it becomes illegal though i'm gonna beat your ass legally ha how about that Talk some shit. Me and my security gonna come up and whoop your ass. And they're gonna know. hold you down so I can whoop your ass. Yeah. Uh, that's not gangster to me, friend. <laughs> what do you mean that's not gangster? <laughs> because, like, what do you mean? I pay my you... money for this. I'm not trying to get my flipping <laughs> regimen in, 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 in trouble. You call your, your security is gonna need security for my security. Is your Put security telling you to get on the phone and chirp to the yeah. next man if we, so that you sick. can get him into some shit? Yo, yo tell him yo, all if me and my If me and my security are tight, we're they, like, we're going. No, I'm not saying even friends. You. Eh? Like, I'm, I'm speaking even if I, if I was Drake. Like, if, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm, you see that big guy that's always with Drake? You don't think him and Drake be like, Drake make him some eye contact and all of a sudden you're fucking. What do you mean, doc? So you saying these guys are having conversations? I, I, yo, bro, we know how to whoop your ass. Like they're yo, looking I, for ops? I just go like this. And your ass getting whooped. <laughs> you, you, you get your security detail and then you show a picture of all your ops. If you see him, him punch him, him in the uh, face. Nuts. If you see him Kick shoot him. him. in the nuts. <laughs> if you see him, <laughs> give him a flipping tombstone. Like, if you see him, yo, to see slap if you're on the, the list. death us out of I'm him. I'm quitting, fam, if I'm the security. No, you're not. You're like, going to be like, fam, this is like, good this, money. I didn't sign up for this, bro. This is good money. Great money. I'm signing up to protect you if somebody comes at you. I hear you, I'm but not there's side jobs. Niggas, bro. There's <laughs> side jobs right now. <laughs> Guys talking slick like this when we catch him, bro. Hold him for me. See, this Kanye West beat the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm being, this is what his security and, looks like. Just get past this him, and then and, you could punch and, him. And, <laughs> what? Right? And we're making plays. These are weeks That's what ahead. I'm thinking, like a football yeah, field. Yeah, we're making plays for this. They're going to teach formations. me. You got yeah, formations. They're going to teach me security things, like how they <laughs> do things. So I'm going to know, oh, that's how it goes down. They just Ooh, spread it, spread the fucking <laughs> room for me, dog. Who's like just running, just Superman punch him in his face. Who's Beagle? another Drake op? <laughs> Who the, give me another Drake op that we could think of here. Drake got mad ops. Too. Yeah, yeah. Um, Right off the, right push, off the. Pusher? Oh, if yeah, you see Pusher, Pusher he's, he, he doesn't have as much security. So we'll do a three-man weave. You guys go behind Thank the you. two security. Right. You go right through the front, and I'll break right behind, right behind with the, you with the Falcon punch. With the Falcon punch. Okay. Right. That's play number eight. Yeah. <laughs> if this doesn't work. Yeah, 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 yeah. They move in wassy. And you got to make sure to set up a right? what do you call that in football? An audible. An, right. Yeah, right. That's what I already. If had. he has three people. Yeah. Then we're gonna have to do gonna, the four-man weave. Yeah. I got seven guys <laughs> with me. <laughs> right. How about that? I'm like, there are bra. Yo, but that's professional. Up for this, no, 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 no. But that's a professional ass kicking. Yo, how's how's the Pepsi? It's actually kind of cool. It's not a hit, man. Um, okay, but we're getting sidetracked here. Yeah, Ak can't win this fight. Like, look at look at the man. He's in tears, bro. Things <laughs> talked about, but I've never cared about. This, bro. I don't care what rapper got at me, bro. Ever. <laughs> but thing. like, really, there's certain shit I've always, I really don't f in my life, and I would never do. But like, I gotta sit here and Boy, act. You know when the man's get when you get the extra yo. snotties in your nose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo, and you're really f***ing livid, eh? You're livid. That's Where the sinuses are filling up. Yeah, yo, and the tears, them, and you're, you're mad at a level you just want to, yo, bro. <laughs> like, I know I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in America, I gotta sit here and just act take like. This, take this. I don't f*** with certain shit. I'm just gonna say you're take like this. <laughs> oh. I feel bad for him, fam. I be crying too. My nigga's for Iggy right now. He would've cried. That's the type of Iggy. Yo, 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 just please. You can't even okay. kill them, Doug. <laughs> Thank you. Because other people were trying to diss him. Like, yo, academics crying. Ha, ha, ha. Nah, Doug, I but know you why understand he's why he's crying. Bro, because you want to send your legal team to <laughs> Not even just that, fam. You know the words that you want to yeah. say out of your mouth. Dear, yo. that I advise you not to yeah, say I'm today. <laughs> I know. I know. But I can I, sing a song, can I? <laughs> I just like you, mother, you, mother. Uh, uh, he just wants to play two Capleton tunes right now. He probably went back after and then started running. Fear Capleton, just for his Fear own. Fear fireman. Fear no fire. Just meditating. Yeah. <laughs> Fire! Poor Ak. Oh man! Just that Jamaican in him has so much fury. Just, yo, just he burnt the tears. He burnt, he burnt a big spliff. Oh. Yes, sir, yo. He started smoking he weed. Smoking <laughs> weed. Some big gun just spliff. He got, yo. You don't act or smoke no yeah, weed. Yeah, but he burned one and he's like, yo. He's like, yo, roll me something, them, man. Them, them really, are cold. them really are trying me, you know. The nigga got a BBL, man. He told me you go. Fuck man with me, a BBL, man. I try me, you know. He said he's gonna beat me, fuck me in the ass, bro. Say my god, sodomize me. I can't even say nothing. <laughs> say my god, my Poor Ak, man. <laughs> Pray for academics, okay? This is, to me, his biggest adversary ever. Okay? I don't care about <laughs> Lil Baby, Dream Chasers, Nicki Minaj and the Goons, okay? When you got a nigga with a BBL and a thug boyfriend <laughs> saying they're gonna whoop you <laughs> saying they're gonna take you turn you over after they beat you up bro Yo, it's just like bro drain. all right you got this man no you know <laughs> no nah, fam you i fight. don't want to fight with you fam <laughs> no, you fight now uh, i gotta i got who's my next that op, mean, bro? <laughs> <laughs> who's next fam? i don't want to fight nobody i don't want nothing no smoke with you leave me alone bro you guys got a whole letter gang behind you i can't say nothing to you fam i can't bun fire on you like bro the man's worth mad millions fam He's probably like, oh, I rumble deal. Even rumble's probably like, Ack, Watch Ack, it. hey. Do not bring the fire trucks out. Yeah, because he was doing that on rumble. Yeah. He was running all the Capleton and all that. He was running Capleton and all that know. prior to his streams. That's what I was saying. Right? <laughs> he went back to his house. Just like, the Twitch people probably were like, yo, hey. We know what they're saying. Those and songs. Those songs. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't you playing your regular hip hop as yeah. usual? Act playing like. <laughs> playing Bujabantan 
<laughs> Our AI already detected what those words mean. <laughs> okay. In patois. Yeah. It's like, can you just not play that again? Right? Yeah, fair warning. So he's probably gotten mad behind the scenes. People tell him, like, yo, act. If you say something, you know how many millions you can lose. And, bro, the man's talking, the guy who's his op is talking crazy to him, bro. Mad. Right, you gotta. You that's one of those ones you just gotta hug it, fam. Oh man, you gotta hug it, bro. Just, oh, just push your push your emotions down. Push them down. <laughs> bye, bye, you know. Like I said, go play that shit in the dark room. No go feel dark better. room. Have the lights on. <laughs> have the lights on. What you do that for? <laughs> go start smoking some weed. Yeah, you big know what I'm saying? And just, just do that on your own act. Man. Go look for your next op, bro. Well, his next op will find him because they seem to, once you talk his name, you get some clout. Oh, my God. If another gay nigga goes at act, it's oh, a, he, he needs I'll to pack like, it up. <laughs> go take a break. Go yeah, take, take a, a vacation. Break. <laughs> Start make, make some movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or join Kai and them on there. Act like, okay, who's the next straight nigga who got beef with me? Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, hey, you want to talk about rappers being gay and shit? All right, we're going to send a real mother. That you. He's like, I'll be for anybody except for a, a, a gay nigga. It shouldn't bro. be tight. And then you know what? Don't talk about Young Miami again. But fam, that's Young Miami's best friend. I guess yeah. <laughs> Girls always have a gay bestie. That, that, right? That's a way to shut <laughs> shut up a straight man, eh? Yeah, yeah. A well, woman send her gay, their gay friend. Don't send the her. boyfriend. Don't send the thug boyfriend. Send the gay bestie. West bestie <laughs> and threaten to, to, to do some Sadamagamaro to him. That is a sick plan. <laughs> that is Yo, a psycho plan. Yo, to Young Miami on that Yo, one. <laughs> they've been doing this. That's an audible in their playbook from a long time, mm, dog. She could have told Diddy, be like, yo, act. Hey, calm down. That's my that's my side thing. Relax. He like no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Send. She smell that poo poo. <laughs> that's your Tuesday, bitch. Bro. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> told you. Right. And then they were just like, uh, uh-uh, uh, uh, uh. Hell no. <laughs> no, no, no. Send in the real troops. <laughs> the city, the city girls. <laughs> we got something for you, Ak. We got a nuclear bomb for your ass. Oh, really? We know, we Literally. We know how to shut this Jamaican up. Yeah. <laughs> so exactly. You want to shut up a Jamaican? You shut up a Jamaican. Send a gay nigga at him. <laughs> a rich Jamaican send a super gay nigga at him and just to now talk. Say, nah, nah. say all that shit you be saying yeah. in the song, bro. <laughs> Go ahead. I dare you. <laughs> God. You'll see how broke you turn before you be finished Holy. your rant. Guys, look. Okay. Holy. What is this? this let's end on three. I like fuckers. And then spend him in. Mm. So what you got for me over here? Channel five. Salute to channel five. Salute to channel five. All right, this is from a few months ago when she did this, eh? Yeah. Why are they just posting this four days ago? I don't know, man. That's weird, eh? What did she say? Pay me to poo on their chest. How many clients do you have? I have like three, like... Oh, and salute to Sagittarius Shoddy for the listening audience. Regulars. How much per turd? I'd say like a 200. <laughs> Sometimes they make me stay like over the weekend. I shit on them every time I have to go when I have <laughs> their own. Like what? they like to get shit on when I have their own. Like diarrhea. <laughs> what? Madness. Well, I don't have a problem <laughs> like on people because I like went to jail so like you have to shit in front of people when you're in a cell so I went to jail for pepper spraying someone why'd you pepper spray him? um because she was trying to fight me and I don't fight because that's ratchet and I'm like a grown woman guys will pay but shitting on people is listen that's a there's a whole economy for that right that's, there that's a whole so. there's a whole that's fetish crazy. for that <laughs> Dusty that's K. actually crazy this yeah. is crazy how she just was just like yeah you know diarrhea yeah i just poo on them for that's yeah. extra i have no for problem with doing for, that. for 200 but then i'm in my head i'm like how do you just have a runny belly just when you're in the middle of doing all this uh, listen fam does she go and eat like 20 cheeseburgers before Taco the damn Bell, sessions? This Taco is the Bell. wildest breakdown that I have that like, I feel like I, I don't know why I would know this, but I, I don't know. I just feel logically, if you know you have a client that's, <laughs> that that's what they're into, you prepare yourself. You go eat bare cheeseburgers, right. whatever you need to eat yeah. that you know you're going to get run belly. Oh, roti and would then, just. Yeah. <laughs> You handle the case. Uh, what roti yeah, from like crazy. Ali's on in yeah. Park <laughs> But you know ahead of time, like you're so you're not forcing yourself when you get there. Yeah. You're just like, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have a you're runny. Ready. <laughs> and, you oh can't my. wait to. Sh- <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know what yeah, saying? the bubble guts are going. Yeah, well, why, why is this an interview on uh, like a football field? Because that's Channel Five. That's how he does his thing. Yeah, he <laughs> like just runs up on about- you. Yeah, he does. He does his thing. He runs up on you. <laughs> 
Yeah, or he makes it like he ran up on you in the street yeah. type thing. Yeah. She, this is when she was in Los Angeles a few, maybe about a year ago. She was up on No Jumper and then she yeah. popped up on this. Yeah. Um, You know, there's one thing I wanted to bring up quick fast uh, before we get out of here. Keith Lee. Y'all know who Keith Lee is? He's um a food reviewer and he goes um around and he... he oh, Keith he, Lee. Yeah, he politely yes. reviews Views. places. Yeah. Like he's very... Yeah. He's very cordial the way he's yeah. like, you know, I might not mess with it, but like, go try it for yeah. yourself. Right? Yeah, yeah. Tay, tay, right? Like, here's actually, you know what? Today, I spent $450 on a burger. Let's try it and rate it 1 to 10. I like to work out a lot. And last night, I did a 10 mile bike ride. And on my way home from the bike ride, I was riding past this street. On the street was a food truck. Never seen this food truck before. The foodie in me got interested immediately. So I said, let me go see what they're talking about. I thank God that I did. I walked up to the food truck and it was a seafood place. I was looking for shellfish, so I was like, oh, never mind. I can't eat nothing here. While I was saying that to myself, I looked up, and there was one person in the food truck. His name is Gary. Gary asked me what I wanted. I told him, oh, never mind. I'm allergic to shellfish. I see all you sell the shellfish. He was like, don't worry about it. I sell burgers, fries, and catfish. I was like, cool, but I can't eat anything that touched shellfish. He was like, I can get clean bowls, clean utensils, clean dishes, clean oil. He was like, don't worry about it. Got then he went on to say, no, but you know what? I am about to close because, again, it was 10 o'clock at night. He was like, how about you come back tomorrow and I can make it fresh for you? I said, absolutely. I'll see you tomorrow. He said, come back today from 11 to 3. I got there at 12 o'clock. Again, empty. It was nobody there but me. He told me he's just trying to survive right now and it's very slow. He's lucky if he get five to ten people in. It always fluctuates. So, right. Right, so and apparently in just this that continues and he blew up that guy, right? Yeah. So now he's in Atlanta. This week. He looked like he looked like um 21 <laughs> 21 can you like do something for me <laughs> right so he's been in atlanta he's been going viral because he went to a few different restaurants and some of the rules that they have in atlanta are a little bit strange okay okay like um yeah <clears throat> he went to one place and they said you can't order takeout from inside the restaurant yeah you got to use the uh um, the, the door dash or door whatever dash, yeah and you got to wait in your car and then come back in and get your food. Mm -hmm. Another place was like, um, you have to have your whole party seated mm -hmm. before you make your order. And then once you make your order, no extras. Which is some rules at other restaurants too. But Atlanta had a lot of different weird ones. Like, And he's very, very big on, don't give me preferential treatment because I'm who I am and I do the food reviews, right? Yeah, yeah. So he sends his family in yeah. a lot of time. Yeah, to decoy. Yeah, yeah, right? So like he went to one place. They told his family it was going to take an hour and 20 minutes, hour and a half or whatever. Yeah. Um, and he came back. He went in himself. Mm. Two minutes. Mm. He said by the time him and his wife took some pictures, they were like, your table's ready. He was like, for real? Well, uh, I don't know about that. Like, Yeah, right? served other people first. Yeah, and he respectfully declined and left. Uh, okay so people in atlanta have been getting at him for this right yeah i'll play a little has been insane this is a recap of everything that's happened this week the good and the not so good let's talk about it let's just address the elephant in the room these two videos were posted yesterday make sure if they get food we'll sit down that's somebody Long begging short, them to come back also short me and my family tried to go to old lady gang and that situation just wasn't for me and i want to be very clear usually when celebrities come in they want to be treated like that I'm not a celebrity. I'm a normal person. So I get the employee was just trying to do our job. I'm just not the target audience for that kind of treatment. So we went to another place. We went to the Toast on Linux timeline. We went to Old Lady Gang. I shot the video. We left and went to Toast on Linux. Toast on Linux is where those two videos were taken. I had no intention on shooting the video. We just went to eat food. We walked up. It was a two and a half hour wait time. But the people that were waiting were dressed to the nines head to toe. On Sunday in Atlanta, people go to brunch, so they expect to wait. We didn't know that. While I was there, me and my wife took a picture with a lady who does food reviews. She has nothing to do with the situation other than the fact that we took a picture together while she was eating. They said it was a two and a half hour wait time. We said, okay, we're going to go somewhere else. While we walked out, the entire staff walked out behind us. They attempted to implore us to stay and said that we could sit down immediately. Again, I'm not the target audience for that. Usually I would just leave, but before we left, we saw two cars with two people in each car. So they were separate. It was two girls in one car over here. It was two girls in one car over here. One car had been waiting for an hour and a half. The other car had been waiting for an hour. One car was trying to do takeout. One car was trying to sit down. So again, Crazy. the people that were waiting inside, that were dressed to the nines, they didn't mind waiting. But the people that were sitting in these cars, I didn't like that. So the owner and the manager walked out and they offered us a table for us to be able to sit down. We told them as a family that we would do takeout, but we wouldn't eat in the restaurant. And the only way we would do takeout is if they gave the table that they was going to get us to the two girls that were sitting in this car. Right. So he was not going to go in 
unless, unless yeah. you give it to these people who've been waiting for mad long. Damn right. So I guess this is Atlanta. Yeah. What if this nigga came to Toronto, bro? And did that? Fam, no, you know he's not going to have good reviews when he goes around to some of these West Indian places, bro. Some of these. Oh, stores. shoot. Like but I don't gonna, think he would even reach to that. He would go to like, he would go to the cliche one like uh, Roy Woods or he would go to Patois mm, or something, right? He wouldn't go to Flipping Willies or Sunrise. Or sunrise. <laughs> yeah, my, who said, yo, whoever's his when PR. I'm no, can when I get a I'm fish? Not, <laughs> when I have that. When I have that. It's done. Yeah. I want that. <laughs> what do you want? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh my gosh. Yo, fam, there was a place, and I won't say the name of it, mm. okay? It's not too far from where I'm at. Right? Mm. I'm not trying to dox myself either. But I went in there, and the way that the woman was dealing with me, she was behind the counter, okay? Let's say the counter is behind this, like where the wall is. Yeah. And I'm where the camera is over here, fam. Yeah. Fam, there's a whole counter you can come from behind the no. wall and come to the counter. The lady's yelling at me from the kitchen. What do you want? Yo, fam, the food was great, yeah. but I was turned Sit off. I'm never going there again. Like, oh, fam, man. just come from behind the kitchen. Come to the, just yeah. for a second, fam. Where was the place? For real. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do them like that, bro. Okay. But okay. their service was tragedy trash. Where is this place, Okay, bro? like West Indian restaurants. And I don't want to <laughs> say, I'm, gonna, I'm saying West Indian or Caribbean. Yeah. Because I don't want to point, I don't want to put you guys on no blast to Jamaicans. Okay, okay. okay. But Jamaicans run the restaurant game. Certain ones. Because there's certain people. Rude, fam. If this nigga came down here, fam, he would not have no good reviews if he went to the hood spots, bro. He'd be like, yo, fam, I don't know what, yeah. what I did wrong to this guy. Yeah. I went to get some food. Be rude. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're like, that's what do you thing. want? But that's the thing. There's Jamaicans in Atlanta. So he probably feel he probably went to a couple. You just haven't, you know what I mean? I don't know if they got that culture like that out there. Well, they do eat curry gold. I said, I've been there, man. Come on, man. They, uh, I've yeah, been to the yard right, spots, true. bro. Like, they got Yardy spots, fam. They're are they moving the same way or they're like, yo, wrong one? Mm, they get Americanized, right? So probably there's a bit of it where there is. Yeah, you see the same thing. Like, we're not have that. Fam. You know what I mean? I just, I feel like if this is how he's moving in Atlanta, here, yeah, I yeah. just feel feel scared for this nigga to come here, You think bro. he'll come here, though? He ain't gonna come here. Yo, fam, you never know. I like, know. he might do it's a like, Carabana bad, trip. Yeah. Right? And Let me go Eglinton here. West. Bro, remember we went to that one place yeah. that one time when we were, like, moving around, we were gonna go do an episode, yeah. and you we were like, yo, let's go grab a food first. Yeah. Yo, the girl came from out, she came from oh. downstairs. Whoa. You remember this, bro? Whoa. She came from downstairs, Whoa. like, I was rubbing like, the coal out of her eyes. I was like, hell like, no. Like, w- like she was looking at us like, what are you guys doing here? Like, it's a <laughs> restaurant. It's o- It says open, fam. I said, hell, I was like, um, we'll be back. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I was like, hell no. This, we're going to die if we eat this food. <laughs> yeah. They, they, she, the curry was brown. They're going to kill us. <laughs> we just walked into our own death. Yeah. Do not do that. Fam, if <laughs> Keith Lee walks into that place, bro. Oh, man. You don't shut it down. Yeah. He'll get it shut down right there. He's outside the place. Hey, uh, um, food service, yo. Don't let him do a TikTok on please. please <laughs> Keith Lee, stay out of Toronto. Mm-hmm. No, nah, come, he, come, come. There's good restaurants. Though. No, yeah. There's this still is good true. restaurants. This is true. Just you know don't I mean? go on. Don't go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't go to the West End. <laughs> nah, what do you Actually, mean? Actually, don't go to the East End neither. Don't, don't go to the mean? East End neither because the place I'm talking about was in the East End. Okay, see? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's the yeah. thing. You gotta don't go, go to the too right far ones. into the end. Stay downtown. Yeah, he'll go to the he'll go to the cliche ones like Roy Woods. No, but Pato, fam, corporate ones. You're not going to get the same food. But then you'll get a twist where, in a sense, he, if he knows real Jamaican article food like caribbean food in general yeah he'll know what's up he'll know okay this is watered down like you know what i mean he'll know like well then that defeats the purpose you go to this nice ass place yeah but he'll right? probably get warned he'll probably go to one of those small places and be like i ain't even gonna do a review on these people because like fam you gotta admit no matter how ma- much some of these places the service is trash yeah the food slaps the food still slaps. <laughs> all our five go dollar home. food oh god man. even that same place that I didn't want to mention yeah I went home and the food slapped bro yeah, like, <laughs> god but your service I'm is I'm just scraping the bottom oh, of the styrofoam fuck. bro you know what I'm saying but I was just like that right right because <laughs> they're after though <laughs> but the food was good right so 
the trade off is like, fam, you're going to go to a spot. And when you get back in your car and do your little TikTok, you'll be like, oh my God, this food is amazing. I know, but, but shorty behind the counter, what's her problem? A, she need an attitude <laughs> adjustment. <laughs> So that's the trade off. Like, don't, that is the trade don't off. go to the, the, the bougie watered down spot because the food's not going to be good. Right. Everybody's going to be like, hello, sir, and hello, family. But well, the food, the curry ain't going to have no, no, no kick know. to it. It might have, yeah, chickpeas in it. <laughs> Instead they start of like incorporating cotty flowers and shit. <laughs> like, ah, like, what is this, an Irish pub? <laughs> what the f- <laughs> We were uh, putting some raisins in the Oh my god. In the <laughs> and they come and they bring a cold. And they bring a cold. So it can run your belly even more. You know what I'm saying? We don't no. want Keith Lee getting that, bro. We oh, want him to man. go get the optical food. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's Royal Caribbean. If yeah. anything on St. Clair and Dufferin. So if <laughs> anybody knows, if he if and this is just a warning, if we see yeah. him pop up in one spot, yeah, yeah. Everybody in all the Caribbean spots, get right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you better. Send whoever is has the most but they nicest be, demeanor in there and let her work for the day. But fam. they should be right. Anyways, because you don't know who is a food blogger nowadays. That's true. When people have their phone out in the, your rest in the place, you you should assume this person could be recording you. That's fact. Because fam, I didn't know who the hell this guy was mm. until he did this Atlanta thing exactly. that went viral, bro. Right. So, you know what I'm so solid there's a take. million of him walking around. Solid takes. Look how many times we knew Sunrise was dealing with with the people them grimy. Yeah. It's because somebody had their phone out. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Somebody who's I'm a food blogger. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Sunrise is trash. Uh, boom. Viral. That's it. You're out of here. Now, now, we, now we use Sunrise as the butt of our right? food jokes. <sighs> Make one of those guys like Mookie come in there. Those big chefs like Mookie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get your shut down easy. Yeah. I mean. Well, listen, fam. Salute to, to Keith Lee and salute to all the, the restaurant and uh, yeah. owners out there. There was one that, oh, the one on um, Young Street. Which one now? The, the 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 guy the chef oh, that passed R. away R. Yeah. R. to him right he his place was all right that was oh. right near the stew you know that yeah, was that's right why I across said that's when I was like Eep. you know what the I mean I was like stew, yo yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah he like, he yo, passed away there. in Jamaica yeah they they dealt with him very grimy yeah man listen man R. I. P. to him R. I. P. And, and, and condolences to his family mm-hmm. um let's touch road man we love hip hop